Okay, let's do this fucking shit. Folks, you're listening to another episode of The Ghost Show. And of course, I am your host, the man they call Ghost. And this is episode number 113 for all the folks that are keeping track. What's going on? Don't forget to spread this show around the internet and throughout the world. And let everybody know that The Ghost Show is live and in effect episode number 113 so don't be afraid baby because we need your help to spread it around the internet and throughout the world because we're still underground we're still underground that's right and we need your help this whole show is pure word of mouth folks so spread it around the internet spread it around the world The Ghost Show is live and in effect, episode 113. I hope you're hyped! I hope you're hyped! We got a lot of things to talk about, and let me tell you, a lot of drama, a lot of drama. And what do I tell each and every one of you people? Save the drama for your mama. But it seems like the drama never seems to go away, folks. Never goes away. All right, go ahead. Take me out, engineer. Take me out. All right, thank you very much, folks, for tuning in with me to another edition of The Ghost Show. Of course, I am your host, the man they call Ghost, episode number 113. And I know... Oh, Jesus, right when I start. Jesus Christ. I think Christ. it's about time for some family entertainment. I That's what I am. I insert this four-foot plastic tubing straight into my anal uh, region. Don't start with that right. four-inch plastic no. tubing. Oh, no. oh God. <laughs> It Fucking happened idiots. again. I just soiled my I wheelchair. I knew it was this idiot. Engineer, get over here and clean me up. I'm not in a wheelchair, first of all. And secondly, I'm sick and tired of that guy. Every time. Every time I start a show, it's the same shit with this person. All right, look, let me calm down here for a second, folks. We got a lot of drama to talk about, and I hate to say this. I, I hate to bring up inner circle drama here on the show, folks, but I think that it's pertinent at this point. And what the hell is this? Bird Tendo Mach 2 has so oh, he just subscribed. My thank you for subscribing, by the way. Anyway, let's continue here. The thing I want to talk about is inner circle drama that's related to this broadcast. Now, let me explain. Uh, and you know what, folks? Before I even go here, all right? Before I even go Can here, you watch this for me, ghost. I know no, you're not I'm not making any exceptions, dude. Today, uh, look, it's short. that's another thing I want to get. Five of the World Series that, that, a that's shock. another Pictures thing I, I'm going to do. I cannot do this. Fans I'm going to consider president. that a donation, dude. You understand? I am not doing any YouTube shares at all, okay? They're going to be considered donations. No fucking exceptions. I don't give a shit what the fuck you people call me in the fucking chat room. You people need to fucking follow directions, all right? And stop thinking that the world revolves around your fucking stupid autistic Asperger asses, all right? And this is what I'm talking about here. This is what I'm talking about, okay? Let me get back to my fucking drama. Uh, The pet Mexican, you should fucking know better, you asshole. All right, now let me explain something here, okay? 
We have inner circle drop. Like, fuck off. All right, yeah, inner pause hole drop. Fuck you. This has a lot to do with your ass. This has a lot to do with your asses, okay? And what it has to do with is a man by the name of Desi, okay? Y'all know, y'all remember Desi, right? Unfortunately, folks, you know, because he was commiserating and interacting with you folks in, in other chat rooms, it got around that he was talking a little bit of garbage about yours truly and the inner circle. And of course, the inner circle didn't, didn't they didn't really appreciate that much. <laughs> They really didn't appreciate that much, okay? Did you know, in episode 17 of True Conservative Radio, Ghost impersonated a Jew oh, and made that's, disparaging that's a lie. about them. Dude, this is a fucking he lie, the Jews okay? The of Satan this is a goddamn lie, go okay? Yeah, I, I, the, the, whoever's doing this ghost trivia nonsense, you're fucking lying your ass off, okay? Now, the reason I bring this up, folks, is because... Um, uh, some of the folks in the inner circle actually confronted Captain Desi or Desi, whatever he wants to call himself, and tried to confront him and say, hey, look, why are you talking garbage about the inner circle? Why are you talking garbage about ghosts? What is your fucking problem? And he tried to deny it at first, okay? He tried to deny it, tried to say, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Now, I wasn't there. Okay, I only saw the transcripts of this in the Discord chat room in the inner circle. I had no idea. Desi is a... Uh, I'm not going to say that fucking word. All right, listen. Let me explain to you what happened, okay? Let me explain to you folks what happened. Okay, now, some of you folks brought it to our attention that Desi was going into other chat rooms talking garbage about the inner circle, talking garbage about people, talking garbage about me. So my confront, my inner circle confronted this son of a bitch, and of course he denied it. He absolutely denied it. But what's really unfortunate, folks, is that this man, Desi, and look, you know, I, I really don't care either way. I mean, people are going to do their own actions. I mean, people have their own brains. Some of them are relaxed brains, other, others intelligent. I have no idea, okay? But unfortunately, when confronted about him and his uh, loose lips about talking garbage about people in the inner circle, yours truly, he thought that, what, what, what is this? Hello, I see. I just want to tell you to save the drama yeah, for Yeah, no me. shit. I can no take shit. It. Save the you drama for Obama, okay? Some four-foot plastic tubing in my big black anus. Oh, Jesus Christ, with the fucking <laughs> plastic tubing <laughs> shit, all right? Ghost is a reprobate like Kanye West. Oh, Ghost here's Pastor Steven saving. Anderson type again. Type amen if Ghost yeah. reads the Talmud. What, type amen if Ghost reads the Talmud? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is, folks, is that uh, for whatever reason... Uh, Captain Desi took a lot of this show seriously. And what I mean by that is that uh, whenever we would do... Hold on just a second. Can you... Peppermint's... No, no, no. Inner circle. Inner di, look, shut up, inner di circle, okay? I, I'm talking. I'm bringing the drama to light. Let me talk base about this Desi. shit. No, not base Desi. Shut up, you morons, all right? Listen. What I'm trying to say is, is that the reason he was talking garbage about yours truly, because apparently he is somewhat of a moral fucking idiot when it comes to me calling the dateline. He does not approve of me calling the dateline and doing the things that I'm doing. He actually feels sorry for the slut bags that I'm, you know, goofing on on the dateline, okay? So he thinks that I'm some bad guy, some bad, what is this, Ghost Jung Un? Dissenting opinions will not be tolerated. Anyone who speaks negatively is a traitor and will be purged. Desi is a traitor to the capitalist revolution. All hail glorious leader ghost. Dude, shut up. That, that's not what this is about at all, okay? That's not what this is about at all, all right? He is not appreciative about the humor that we conduct ourselves in on the dateline. And I think that's what started him, I guess, talking garbage about yours truly and the inner circle. Anyway, once the inner circle confronted him, because I sure as hell didn't, inner circle confronts him and is like, hey, why are you talking garbage? And he tried to deny it. And of course, the inner circle, you know, were tight. So he, they brought up some transcripts from another chat room in which he clearly talks garbage about the inner circle, clearly talks garbage about me. And he really didn't know what to say about it. He didn't know what to say about it, but we, we were willing to squash it so long as he came up to us as a man and said, you know what? I don't like this. I don't like that. But unfortunately, folks, this happens, and whoever the hell donated $2, go sucks Desi sausage. Fuck you, okay? 
But the bottom line is, folks, what it, what this comes down to is ass burgers. All right? I'm not even joking around. This is what this comes down to, ass burgers. And what's really unfortunate, folks, is that this Desi character took the show so serious that it, you guys, you trolling on him, was causing him some depression or some shit. Hold on, what is this? Anonymous. How come every IC member turns out to be a mental goon? What a think tank. Dude, now, shut up, all right, asshole? Fuck you, Anonymous, all right? Now, believe it or not, folks, uh, Desi was so disheartened that you folks always talk about him, you know, and that you always you know, type cap to cap. He, he was depressed Did about you know it. know that also on episode 17 uh, this of is a True fucking Conservative lie. Radio all right, Ghost this is a damn about lie. The time he burned a cross in front of Dallas Cowboys legend Emmett Smith. And That's Sandy a fucking Uwe lie. Shut the Africa fuck up. Who the hell's doing ghost trivia? Who is this asshole? You're fucking lying, all right? You're fucking lying, for Christ's sake, all right? Anyway, he got all depressed because you guys kept saying cap, press cap, the cap, man captain, Desi. Desi is a fucking oddest retard. Everybody oh. knows this. Just speak truth, ghost. Speak what you mean to say. Uh. That Desi should be put to sleep along with feminists, faggots, uh, 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 trans, No, and no, calm down, calm down, Tim. Tim McCraft, come on, I'm not saying that. We love Ghostler and his iron fist. We love the bureaucratic inner circle. It's we not a bureaucratic inner circle, dude. That Shut up. Watches the show. We hate Jesus the totally Christ. not I'm, Look, Alex I'm trying Jones. to get me candid we with what's Ghostler. going on here. Kyle Ghostler. Don't Desi call Descenders. me Ghostler, you asshole. All right, do not, do not call me Ghostler. Okay, especially here on YouTube. Do not do that. Okay. The point I'm trying to make is, folks, is why is it that these Asperger people? Okay. Whenever they're confronted with the Asperger tarred shit that they do, instead of being a man or an upfront person about it and saying, yeah, I did it and I did it because of this or that, what ends up happening is what? They end up saying, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. And then when they're confronted with the truth, they just put the I'm retarded card down and run away. And that's exactly what happened today with Desi. After being confronted about it, folks, he ran away he is uh, ran away from the inner circle. He dropped out of the inner circle, and he's in such mental distraught. I have no idea what's going the inner on. Inner circle are a bunch of closet anime fans and mentally uh, unstable bronies. Bullshit! For Christ's sake, bullshit! All right, you're just a fucking troll, being an asshole. Anyway, he ran away, and look, I, I just want to put this out here and say, look, Desi, if you're upset. You know, please don't do anything fucking autistically kookster, like, you know, hurt yourself, hurt other people. Uh, you know, I, I want you to realize that, hey, it's not us, it's you, okay? For whatever reason, you just have loose lips and you like talking garbage about people all behind their back, thinking that other people aren't going to tell the people that you talk garbage to about it. Or not thinking that there's people that are of the inner circle that are in the damn chat room watching it. Do you understand? And you see, this is what I don't understand. I mean, we didn't kick Desi out. He ran away. And I'm tired of you fucking Asperger and autists. I'm tired of y'all doing this shit, okay? I mean, if you're going to do some autistic Asperger retarded shit then face up to it instead of running away like your fucking single dirty dish rag whore single mother, okay? And what is this? Black Worm. Tim and Anonymous is right. Put those targs to sleep already. How many times have we been through this by now on this show? Hey, uh, listen. I'm a nice guy, okay? I'm a nice guy. And what is this? Marshall Burnsy. Uh, hey, Ghost. I uh, hope you're having a good carpet munching Monday. I know I'm not. College is a bitch and I hope the show goes well. Well, Thank you very much. I appreciate it, man. And I hope college goes well for you, too. But uh, once it, what is this? Ghost's inner thoughts. Jesse, please kill yourself. I hate Aspire Tards, and I uh, hope you jump in front of That's not what I train. want. No, dude, come on. That's not what I want, okay? Yay, Spadesi. Yay, yay Spadesi. Listen, all I'm simply stating is, folks, is that it always comes down to Asperger's or autists. You know, it all comes down to Asperger or autist. And look, people always say, Ghost, you know, this is what you attract, yada, yada, and, and these people can't change. I disagree. I mean, there's a couple of autistic 
folks that are a part of the inner circle that have changed in a metamorphic no capacity. No lefty, it's full of retards, cucks, and oh, pedos. fuck off. All right, Desi is right. Go fuck yourself, all right? We're a think tank, for Christ's sake. You idiots hate the inner circle because you ain't in the inner circle, you son of a bitch. Anyway, we've got a couple of autistic folks in there. And we've turned these folks into productive members of society. We've turned these guys into productive members of society. So I hate the ghost show. Five foot. Well, well then why are you listening, PVC Tim McCrab? Pipes. PVC pipes beat five foot. Stupid asshole! Look at ten it's Tim McCrab with a V, you idiot. Beats ten foot plastic Tim McCrab, what a fucking idiot. Yas Desi slay the bigot. Yes, Desi slay the bigot. Oh, I'm a bigot now. I'm, ghost, I'm in love with I'm a bigot. Gabbard's feet. I want to smell them so Oh, look, bad. this is your Pastor Steven Anderson out here. Mr. Jesus Freak over here wants to get a, a, a fucking nose full of Tulsi Gabbard's feet. Uh, that's holy of him, huh? How holy is that? Anyway, folks, I just simply wanted to say, look, if you're autistic and you're Asperger's and you're going to talk shit about people behind their back and you get confronted by it, either step up and stand up and say, yeah, I said it, and, and I said it because of this. If not... Shut the fuck up and be a little bitch boy like you are, all right? Like you are with your fucking uh, autistic teachers. And who the hell donated inner bitch circle? Who the hell donated that shit? Anyway, look, I don't want to make the whole show this. All I'm simply stating is, once again, we have to deal with somebody with the A word whether it's autistic or Asperger's, and I'm tired of it, dude. You, you fucking people get so much pussy pampering, it makes me sick. And because you think that pussy pampering is something that you're supposed to get, you think that we on the internet are supposed to subdue this shit. You're supposed to Please be subservient to your shit. Why do you shit. refuse to be called Ghostler when you have referred to yourself in that manner in no, the past? No, no. Brooke Seems 916, you're, you're sadly Ask mistaken. have no excuse. They can work and go you're, to school you're, you're like sadly everyone. mistaken. Do PSI not call me. Go to EMT Do not call soon. me Ghostler, okay? And by the way, who the hell is Ghost is Faggin? Who the hell is that? Who the hell did that for two bucks, you son of a bitch? Anyway, all I'm simply stating is, is that I'm, I'm tired of you autists, and I'm tired of you Asperger's, okay? I'm tired of you using this as a fucking card and to pretend that it absolves you of any kind of personal responsibility. I'm getting sick of this shit. Don't know what this Desi situation is about, but I don't give two shits about it. What is your thoughts on the bimbos flashing coal in the World Series for breast cancer? Oh, Jesus Christ. As Christ. well as the national fans booing our President Trump. Well, let don't me get to that first and cheers. foremost, okay? Let me get to that, all right? I think that... Donald Trump being booed at the Washington Nationals game underscores how sick and disgusting and how criminalistic Washington, D.C. truly is. All right, Washington, D.C. is truly hey, a fucking garbage Just hole. Just want to say your show is great. Thank you, man. Texas is a great place, and I hope you save the state from the shit that's infecting California. Uh, we hope so, too. Love from Georgia. Thank you, Anonymous, dude. I appreciate it. And somebody donated $2. Fat Man 1945. Thank you very much. I appreciate that as well. But like I said, the reason people were booing Trump is because it's the Washington Nationals. This is in Washington, D.C. I mean, everybody who lives in that criminalistic, disgusting, despicable town, Washington, D.C., is there. And they want to keep up the status quo. They want to keep up the, the swamp. They want to keep up this, this bullshit that has been selling out our country for the past 40 to 50 years. Meanwhile, Trump is trying to make America great again. He's trying to do whatever with his, is within his power to make sure that we're solidified as a superpower. We are solidified as a power to be reckoned with on the world stage. And I want to tell you right now, I am glad. I thank God every day that Donald Trump is president of the United States. He has thrown a monkey wrench into the engine of globalism, and that's why they're trying to take him down. Ghost, I hope you're well. What up, Yehuda? Some words of encouragement before the trolls rage. There is no capitalist more true than you. Thank you, I dude. see as the most based community on the net. Thank you very if much. If I wasn't constantly broke, I'd buy you more beers. Try no. Jeremiah Red. MAGA. God Thank bless you very TX. much. Look at look, Yehuda knows what he's talking about. Thank you very much, Yehuda. And whoever the hell donated two bucks, Trump equals big fat N-word. You're a fucking piece of trash. All right? Let me tell you something. What has Trump done for you to hate him? What has he done for you to hate him? Biotech stocks to buy right now. Amarin, 
Amarin is Biotech? anxiously awaiting a major FDA decision. Acepa would be a great addition to the lineups of several big drug makers. Next, well, biotech Celgene. is risky, Celgene okay? I'm a short-term biotech trader. Squib. I'm a short-term biotech trader. And when I mean short-term, I'm talking day trading style. So I'm not, uh, you know, 2012 fan, maybe putting some things out there. I do not endorse that. But to each their own. To each their own, for Christ's sake. Anyway, once again, I want to reiterate, that's why you had the Washington Nationals boo the president, because he's putting a car bosh on their fucking criminality that is plaguing that city. And I, I find it disgusting that these fucking Washington, D.C. bastards are absolved of any kind of criminalistic prosecution. I hope that the John Durham investigations that are brought on by the Attorney General and the Department of Justice go somewhere. I hope that it it flourishes into arrests of people like James Comey, Peter Strzok, Lisa Page, James Clapper, John Brennan, etc. All right? And what is this, Marshall Bernsey? The reason they boo is because they have no honor and believe the West has no culture. Hope there are uh, I hope they enjoy their $45 an hour because they are a bunch of cocksuckers. Exactly. I mean, that's all that was out there attending the Washington Nationals game. It's all a bunch of Washington, D.C. people, a bunch of Washington re residents. And these are folks that want to keep the status quo of criminality in Washington. All right? And what is this? Uh, anonymous. I remember Cans abuser, Cans abuser said Desi is a good guy. I bet he feels pretty stupid now. LOL. Well, I don't know about that. I mean, you know, that's what's unfortunate when you give compassion to Asperger people. This is the kind of shit that you should expect, unfortunately. Anyway, somebody donated $2. LOL, guys, N-word, funny. LOL, guys, N-word, funny. What the fuck does that mean, for Christ's sake? All right. Anyway, once again, I, I take nothing in the booing that happened in the Washington Nationals game. It's just the Washington establishment not liking a pro-American president. And that's what this man has done. If I, I guarantee you, folks, had Hillary Clinton been elected president, do you think that half the things that have happened to this country would have happened? Do you think that we'd be having 3.5% unemployment across the board? Do you think that we'd be breaking new records when it comes to the stock market? Do you think that we would have this housing bubble that we have? I'm telling you, what's happening now is pure, pure Trump economy. And what this 2020 campaign should tell everybody is that we need more Trump Republicans in the House. We need more Trump Republicans in the Senate. Listen here. Why the fuck do you put spies in our chat rooms just to see who talks shit about you and your group of retards? Yeah, uh, go fuck Why yourself. Why the fuck should you right? care? Do you know who else plants spies to listen to what people say about them? Democrats. Nah, yeah, fuck ass. you. All right, go shove it up your ass. All right, go shove it up your ass. Hey, ghost. Glad to see you're doing a show today, despite you already going like a machine. You're last damn week. right. I'm continuing Looking to go. Looking forward to listening you tonight. I appreciate it, dude. Unfortunately, I'm out of beer right now, so uh, no sucks. matching you on drinks. If you plan on having it's any a Monday, sad face, though. cheers, though. Cheers, hey, coaster. It's a Monday. It's all good. You don't have to have beers tonight. You can't be like me. All right, I mean, I'm fucking guzzle beer like it's going out of style, for Christ's sake, man. I fill myself up with piss and fury, all right? I mean, I'm a bad son of a bitch, for Christ's sake, man. I drink beer like it's gasoline. It fucking fuels me, for Christ's sake, man. I mean, it fuels my engine. But anyway, let me move on, folks. There's a lot of things we want to talk about, all right? We already talked about the fucking Captain Desi drama and how it's related to Asperger's and how these Asperger and autists just want to absolve themselves of any kind of personal responsibility and just run away. You know, whenever they do something wrong, they pull out their I'm retarded card and then run away. Okay, but let's just continue. Let's move on. Let's talk about some serious subject matters. And one of the things I want to talk about is... Guess who is killed? We talked about it late Saturday night, but we're going to talk about it here uh, tonight. And by the way, folks, uh, I want to reiterate, on Friday's show, uh, we got a strike, a, a copyright strike, because these idiots that donated $18. I love putting spies in the chat room. Fuck you, Democrat ghost. Go fuck yourself, all right? Um, like I said, we I played a couple of $18, 66 buckers. We are not taking any. It says in the description, folks, okay, no YouTube link share. It will be considered a donation. It's already written in there. 
no refunds. All right, I'm not fucking doing any exceptions for anybody. And if you fucking donate eighteen dollars and sixty six bucker tonight, that's your fucking problem. That's a donation, okay? Because I'm not I'm not sitting here doing this. But even though it got copyright struck, you could still get it at the official uh, BitChute shoot archive. And let me show you where that is. Put the PC shot on. If you're at ghost.report, just click this little tab right here, this archive tab. You click that archive tab, uh, you will get to the Friday show. Now, Saturday Night Troll Show, unfortunately, and I posted this on the forums, uh, it did not archive. And that has a lot to do with Vaughn.live. I don't know what the hell happened. It's so fucked up. Uh, but luckily, Cans Abuser and a couple other people have relayed that uh, uh, that Saturday Night Troll Show, and you could probably get it. I got a couple of links on the forum posts. Uh, go ahead and do it. It's sad, folks, because what ended up happening on the Saturday Night Troll Show, apparently Vaughn.Live was updating some kind of software, and that's why I didn't archive. Sav Sanctus S. Stupri Retardair. Austin Tuum Stoltis Est et Liberum of The fuck are you doing? You talking Solum to me in fucking Greek? What is that? Some fucking Latin? Some kind of pig Alice Latin? Jones est Melius. Are, you call, are you talking to me in fucking pig Latin? The I fuck was that about? I may have a foot fetish, but at least I don't promote sodomy on my show. Oh, like you. shut up, all I right? I also didn't commit war crimes Just in shut Vietnam. up. Jesus fucking Christ. And who the hell donated two bucks tards for Trump? Fuck you, two bucks tard for Trump. And who is this? Two bucks engineer, I quit my job. You beat me with a rubber hose. I've had it. Dude, the engineer's right here. He's not going nowhere. So sit there and shut your mouth. All right, now we're going to talk about the killing of Baghdadi. All right, y'all y'all, y'all know that the leader of ISIS is dead. All right? Don't you think because Desi is gone that inner circle slots are available? Do not donate three hundred dollars for an IC slot. Well, no, it that's no, no, that's that's different story. That's a different story. If people want to join the inner circle, they throw three hundred dollars down in I one spot, and it, we we send them a Remember, link to the inner circle. If they don't release the pictures of anybody, it didn't happen. Plus, burial at sea is not a well. Good apparently, let me let me explain something, Captain Hook. Apparently, in this special <laughs> operations to kill Baghdadi. He allegedly blew himself up when he was cornered, and uh, that seems to be the story about Baghdadi. And what is this beer for three bucks? Did you know that beer increases your estrogen levels? Maybe that's why you're so emotional. I'm not emotional, you piece of crap. All right, I'm, I'm acting like a man with balls, all right? I sit here, kick ass, and take fucking names. That's what I do. I lay smacketh's down while everybody's on the floor crying. That's what the fuck I do. I don't know what the hell you're talking about, about higher estrogen levels. All right, uh, I don't know what the hell you're talking about, boy. I'm a I'm a bad motherfucker. When I drink some beer, it ain't nothing for me to whoop a man's ass. All right, I'd stick a goddamn fucking boot so far up your ass, you'll be able to shit leather for the next twenty years of your life. All right, there, you cornhole lover. So don't sit there and talk garbage to me about oh yeah, you know, beer it gives you estrogen bullshit. All right, I got more testosterone running through my goddamn body than a goddamn bottle of vitamins, boy. You understand? I'm a I'm a bad motherfucker. Try to sit here and talk garbage to me, you fucking little internet people. I'm telling you, you think you're all tough, flapping your fat sausages of fingers on the keyboard, talking garbage. But I'm watching you in the chat room. I'll tell you this right now: if you were in front of me face to face, let me tell you, I'd be delivering knuckle sandwiches at your asses. You understand that? All right. You motherfuckers wouldn't be able to eat corn in the cob with no fucking teeth. How you like that, huh? Tell you, come up here to try to talk garbage. Who the hell donated two bucks no balls ghost, huh? Who the fuck donated that shit no balls ghost? I got balls the size of grapefruits that'll slap your mama upside her chin. So maybe the next time she pops something out of her uterus pipe, it'll be something worth contributing to humanity. You fucking milky liquors. All right, so just sit there and shut your goddamn mouth. I'm trying to do a show here, episode 113 of The Ghost Show, and what do we got? We got a bunch of shit talkers in the chat room. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right, you son of a bitch. I tell you right now, you fucking motherfuckers, if you were in front of my goddamn face, I would beat your asses into dog meat, boy. I'd beat your asses into dog meat. Phantasma Emporo Na Epidemia. And what the hell is this? Alexander the Great. What the hell is this? 
Cathenus Chassos American. Talk to me in American, you fuck. Talk to me in American. Don't be talking to me in some damn immigrant language that I don't know about, boy. You talk to me in American if you're going to text to speech to me, you little son of a bitch, all right? You don't talk to me in no fucking immigrant language. You hear me? You fucking immigrant. You understand that? This is America, boy. This is Trump country, boy. And you, you need to be respecting America once again. This ain't Obama's America where we're saying we're sorry and shit and bowing down and kissing people's rings. That ain't that, ain't that America anymore, boy. This is Trump country where we stop mud holes in people's asses, kick it dry, and then take dirty yellow bubbly pisses in it so they can look back as with a fucking yellow smile about it, boy. That's the America that we're in. That's the goddamn America we're in, boy. Mega! Mega! Right in every one of your fucking leftist faces. Now... As I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by a bunch of immigrants donating a bunch of malarkey in some immigrant language. And what is, oh, snowflake. Yeah, I'm not a snowflake, you asshole. You idiots are the ones that are the snowflakes. You are the ones that are out here looking for safe spaces. You sons of bitches are the ones that are out here crying foul and all this other garbage. Ain't no goddamn little snowflake here, boy. You understand that? I melt snowflakes, all right? That's what I do. I melt snowflakes, for Christ's sake. Piece of shit. Anyway, before I'm interrupted again, I want to talk about a few things. I want to talk about al-Baghdadi, the leader of ISIS, getting slaughtered by the United States military forces. And let me tell you something right now. I mean, this should prove to each and every one of you that Trump did what Obama couldn't do. <laughs> Obama just let ISIS run roughshod. UWU. The fuck does that mean? Huh? Please whoop my ass. What the hell does that mean? Anyway, I think everybody right now should be kissing Donald Trump's ass because remember when Obama was president, he let ISIS run roughshod. He let ISIS run roughshod throughout the Middle East. And what was ISIS doing? Killing Christians, killing Coptic Egyptians, killing folks that believed in Jesus. And that's what Obama allowed in mass while pretending, while pretending that he was fighting ISIS. Let's be honest, folks, okay? Let's be honest about ISIS. If you don't think that ISIS was a part of a CIA operation during the Obama administration, you're an idiot. Today's show brought you by Levitra. Quality went oh, account. Oh, fucking Levitra. Can you fuck off? All right? I'm not down with the pharmaceutical companies, you stupid son of a bitch. Anyway, this is very, very important. Okay, this is very what? A phantasma E U Adoraria That big titty Brazilian. Voce a another fucking immigrant language for Christ's sake. Talk to me in American, you dickhead. O Texas and Virganiado. Jesus Christ. Twenty O S Brasileiros resuscitarás. Imperio Brasileiro pela vitória. All right, okay, burrito. Okay, great. All right, talk to me in American, you dumbass. Jesus Christ, where'd all these fucking immigrants come from, man? I mean, did y'all put my goddamn show on some immigrant forum post? Ghost Unare, a fucking dick, a Scotland B I D H. Oh, it was Gaelic bum boy. Are you talking to me in Gaelic? How gay of you, huh? Gaelic bum boy? How gay of you to talk to me in Gaelic, huh? Jesus fucking Christ. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is, folks is that the Trump administration has eliminated the caliphate, has eliminated ISIS altogether. ISIS equals Israeli Secret Intelligence Service. All right. Fact. Baghdadi is in Israel right now being debriefed. If you believe Baghdadi is dead, you are 50 IQ. No, no, let, now calm your ass down there, Tim McCrav. Unfortunately, many of the folks that are listening don't have the mental capacity to understand or comprehend the truth of the subject matter at hand, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to try to present the material in a fashion in which the average everyday American layman can understand it, okay? And the bottom line is, is that Donald Trump did what Obama couldn't do. And now why couldn't Obama destroy the caliphate of ISIS? Because he was arming and training and funding these sons of bitches. Now, one of the big criticisms of Trump calling this military operation to kill Baghdadi, which is the head of ISIS, one of the criticisms is, is that Donald Trump didn't inform any of the Democrats 
that from Schumer to Nancy Pelosi to any of them, they're all pissed. True Smeghead Radio. Oh, fuck you. All right, fuck you. And whoever the hell donated two bucks and put Pootie Pie, fuck Pootie Pie, all right? Jesus Christ. Anyway, I want to show you all something, all right? I, I, I want to show you all something because I want to show you exactly what the hell is going on and why Trump did not inform the Democrats when it came to this Baghdadi raid, okay? I'm, I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you why because... Many of the folks that are a part of the Democratic Party were the ones that helped fund, train, and arm these people, all right? And what the fuck is this two bucks, Baghdadi 2020 for you as a... Can you shut up, all right? Why don't you just shut up and learn something here for a second, you son of a bitch? So what, that's a problem with you goddamn tards, you know? You think you know everything, but you don't know jack shit, you know? You don't know a fucking thing, all right? Now, what I'm about to show you here is I want to show you a couple of things to prove to you that the Obama administration funded, trained, and armed ISIS. Okay? Now, everybody asks, why did Michael T. Flynn, General Michael T. Flynn, get busted by the FBI? Why did they take Flynn Trump down? Trump killed deep state asset Baghdadi. That's why they are pissed at Trump. McCain supported Baghdadi and ISIS. Well, there you go. Dave Brown is understanding what the hell's really going on here. Look at Dave Brown over here. Cheers to you. He knows what's going on. Now, what I'm about to show you is Michael T. Flynn, when he retired as the head of the DIA, which is the Defense Intelligence Agency, which is the CIA equivalent to the Pentagon. So the DIA exclusively gathers human intelligence for the Pentagon, etc. This is what this is what Michael T. Flynn was uh, was the head of. And what is this? Bag my dad. That's fucking stupid idiot. Now, the reason I want to show you this is because uh, right now, General Michael T. Flynn is wrapped up in a case in which he is supposedly charged with lying to the FBI. But lest we forget, folks, it's coming out that the FBI framed, framed Michael Flynn. What the fuck kind of oriental immigrant language is this? I'm talking here, asshole. I'm talking. Let me talk. And if you're going to talk to me, talk to me in fucking American, damn it. I'm tired of these immigrant languages. All right, talk to me in American, asshole. Yeah, lock him up. For what? For what? Lock him up for what? For being pro-American? Huh? For throwing a wrench in globalism? For throwing a wrench in the deep state? For rearranging that criminal organization called Washington, D.C.? Huh? Lock him up for what? Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is Michael T. Flynn, all right, was once upon a time a, a advisor for the president, Donald Trump, and was framed by the FBI, okay? Let's be honest here. He was framed by the FBI. That's why they're still trying his case. They're figuring out whether or not his case can be thrown out, considering the unscrupulous, unethical, and illegal tactics that they used to supposedly corner Michael T. Flynn and lying to an FBI charge. Dime bag dad. Look, can y'all fucking shut up with the damn stupid fucking ridiculous text to speeches, please? I'm talking here. I'm talking. Now, the reason they went after Michael T. Flynn is because after he stepped down as the head of the DIA, he went out and started talking about the Obama's administration and its policies in the Syrian region. And here in an interview, and this is dated 2015, in an interview he describes, or actually not he describes, but uh, the interviewer describes that, hey, wait a minute, you all knew that these Salafists and these other terrorist organizations were deeply entrenched in the Syrian conflict, and you all did nothing. And Michael T. Flynn will admit in this interview that it's Obama's administration that continues to fund, train, and arm the ISIS fighters in the field. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's go put the PC shot on. Oh, hold on. What the? What now? What? Obsturmt Oder Schneit, Ob die Zone UNS Lock. Can y'all fuck off with the stupid, dumb immigrant languages, man? It's pissing me off. All right? Shut up! First Unsershin. Jesus fucking Christ. I am Stormwind Dahin. Just put on Michael T. Flynn and listen, this is a 2015 clip. He admits the Obama administration arms, trains, and funds ISIS. And that's exactly what happened. That's why you have Trump not 
notifying Nancy Pelosi, not notifying Shifty Shift, not notifying any of these Democrats about the Baghdadi raid, because they were the ones that were fucking arming these people. Play it. Many people would argue that the U.S. actually saw the rise of ISIL coming and turned a blind eye, or even encouraged it as a counterpoint to Assad and a secret analysis by the agency you ran, the Defense Intelligence Agency, in August 2012 said, and I quote, there is the possibility of establishing a That's declared so or undeclared <laughs> Salafist, it's not secret anymore, it was released under FOI. The quote is, there is the possibility of establishing a declared or undeclared Salafist principality in eastern Syria, and this is exactly what the supporting powers to the opposition want in order to isolate the Syrian regime. The U.S. saw the ISIL caliphate coming and did nothing. Yeah, I think that what we, where we missed the point... Listen I mean, closely. Totally ...blew it, I think, was in the very beginning. I mean, we're talking four years now into this effort in Syria. Most people won't even remember. It's only been a couple of years. The Free Syrian Army, that, that movement. I mean, where are they today? Al-Nusra, where are they today? And what have, how much have they changed? When you don't get in and help somebody, they're going to find other means to achieve their goals. And I think right now what we have allowed... is A whole new world we've, helping yeah, them in we've allowed this, we've allowed while these this extremist... Were- you know, these extremist militants to come in. But why did you and, allow them to do that, General? Well, you were in post. Are, you were are, the head of the yeah, Defense right, Intelligence right. Agency. Well, those I, are, I, those I, are I policy I took the liberty, took those the liberty of printing issues. out that document. Yeah. This is yeah. a memo I quoted from. Did you see this document in 2012? Was this come across your table? One of oh, your yeah, yeah, yeah. I paid very close attention okay. to all this. So when you sure saw did. this, did you not pick up a phone and saying, what on earth are sure. we doing supporting I mean, that, these Syrian that, rebels? That kind of information is presented, and those become, those become, I argued about it. Did you say we shouldn't be supporting these groups? I did. I mean, we argued about these, the different groups that were there, and we said, you know, who is it that is involved here? And I will tell you that uh, I, I do believe uh, that the, the intelligence was very clear. And now it's a, it's a matter of whether or not policy is going to be as clear and as defining and as precise as it needs to be, and I don't believe it was. Just on, just on what you're saying, just to clarify here, you're saying today, today my understanding is you're saying we should have backed the rebels... You're saying in government, you agreed with this We analyst. should have done more earlier on in this effort, uh, you know, than, than we did. We, but we in really, 2012, we, but in we 2012 sort of which was... Can. We three, that we're can, not, but three years ago, let's just be clear, just right. for the sake of our viewers. In 2012, your agency was saying, quote, the Salafists, the Muslim Brotherhood, and Al-Qaeda in Iraq are the major forces driving the insurgency in Syria. Mm-hmm. In 2012, the yeah. U.S. was helping coordinate arms transfers to those same groups. Why did you not stop that if you're worried about the rise of, quote, unquote? Listen. I, I mean, I hate to say it's not my job, but that my job was to was to ensure that the that the accuracy of our intelligence that was being presented. Was, was you fucking God. son of a bitch. Who the fuck this donated? Boring, nobody cares. Yeah, fuck seven you. And you know what? O'clock, fuck o'clock, you, o'clock, interruption, o'clock, you fucking o'clock, stupid o'clock, shithead. O'clock, o'clock. Fuck you, all right? And Al Jazeera for two bucks. Fuck you. And co- what? Q host. Q host, we go one, we go all. Fuck you, fucking pieces of shit. I'm sitting over here trying to enlighten you about the facts of the matter, and here are you fucking stupid assholes acting like a bunch of dickheads. Sit there and shut up and learn something. And I will tell you, it goes before 2012. I mean, when we were, when we were in Iraq, and we still had decisions to be made before there was a decision to pull out of Iraq in 2011. I mean, it was very clear what we, what we were going to face. Well, I admire your frankness very on this subject. Very clear what we were going to let face. Me, let me just, to one before we move on, just to clarify once more, you are basically saying that even in government at the time, you knew those groups were around, you saw this analysis, sure. and you were arguing against it. But who wasn't listening? I think the, I think the administration. So the administration turned a blind eye to your analysis. I don't know if they turned a blind eye. I think it was a decision. I think it was a willful decision. A willful now, decision. did you hear that right there? Michael T. Flynn stating that the Obama administration had a willful decision. And this guy is questioning <laughs> why in the hell why, America right. was arming these people. All right, yeah, fuck you. This is wank. Fuck you. This guy's asking, why was America arming, training, and funding Al Qaeda, Salafists, and other type of whacked out Jehudis in the Middle East? Why was he doing this? And you see Michael T. Flynn, he said, I argued about it, but this was an administration decision. All right, this was an administration decision. Now let's let's go ahead and listen to that one more again because I think people need to understand that this right here, the head of the DIA, ex-head of the DIA, Michael T. Flynn, in 2015 said 
that what ended up becoming ISIS was armed, trained, and funded by the United States under the Obama administration. Play it one more again. There was a decision to pull out of Iraq in 2011. I mean, it was very clear what we were, what we were going to face. Well, I I'd buy that. Very clear. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ! End it, bitch! Watch, 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 uh, you watch, 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 watch. I wouldn't be surprised watch, if these are watch, Democrats watch, doing this watch, shit. Watch, watch, Let me watch, tell you watch, something. Watch, watch, Let me tell watch, you something, watch, you watch, fucking watch, stupid assholes! If you keep this up, I'll I'll fucking end this broadcast and take a break for a Monday. How you like that shit, huh? How you like that shit, you stupid sons of bitches? All right, I'm sitting here shooting pearls at your fucking feeble minds, and you don't fucking care. This is why America's being flushed down the proverbial toilet because of your simplistic fucking perspectives. You fucking people make me sick, all right? You fucking people make me fucking sick. So you're gonna, we're gonna play it again, you fucking idiot. I don't give a shit. We'll play it all night. I don't give a goddamn. All right, I want you all to know that the Democrats under the Obama administration armed, trained, and funded ISIS. And if you don't understand that by this time, you're a fucking idiot. Play it. Being presented was was as good as it could be, and I will tell you, it, it goes before 2012. I mean, when we were when we were in Iraq, and we still had decisions to be made before there was a decision to pull out of Iraq in 2011. I mean, it was very clear what we were, what we were going to face. Well, I admire your frankness very on this subject. Very clear what we were going to let face. Me, let me just, to one before we move on, just to clarify once more, you are basically saying that even in government at the time, you knew those groups were around, you saw this analysis, sure. and you were arguing against it. But who wasn't listening? I who wasn't listening? Who wasn't listening to you? Here it is. Listen. <laughs> Let the fuck you, you stupid shithead. I know you were fucking going to do shit. For God's sake, I can't take this boring Well, if you can't, why don't you get the fuck out of here? Jesus Christ. If you can't take it, then get the fuck out of here, you stupid, dumb internet person. Get the fuck out of here if you don't like it, you fucking shithead. I don't give a shit if you listen or not. Just sit there and shut the fuck up. Sit there and shut the fuck up, you stupid, feeble-minded, man-child, cartoon fetish, Comic-Con going piece of shit! You fucking man-child, listen! Hola, Fantasia. Listen! Race and Pedazo de Mierda with Cisco y Meros KK Den Deformidades. Our no fucking country, man, is at stake! America, a horror Our fucking country's at stake, you dumb fucking shitheads! These fucking Democrats are fucking destroying this country! We won't stop interrupting Chairler, watch, watch, yeah, watch, fuck watch, you. watch, yeah, watch, watch, you know watch, what? watch, I, I may just watch, end it on you watch, sons watch, of bitches. Watch, watch, I may watch, just watch, end it. Watch, you keep watch, this fucking watch, shit up! Watch, watch, I'll end this son of a bitch! Watch, 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 I'll end this son of a bitch! Watch, 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 Fucking stupid assholes, man. No shit, I should have taken a fucking day off. Play it! Play it! I think the administration. The administration turned a blind eye to your analysis. I don't know if they turned a blind eye. I think it was a decision. I think it was a willful decision. A willful decision to go support an insurgency that had Salafist Al Qaeda well, and a Muslim willful Brotherhood. decision to do what they're doing. <laughs> you son of a yeah. bitch! You fucking who the fuck does uh, no? Look at this. Fucking no. Our fucking country's at stake, you fucking assholes! The fucking Democrats are destroying this country! Look at this seer, huh? Uh, which enemy is this? You see this, you fucking stupid internet dickheads, man? I wish I could slap every one of you. I wish I could slap every fucking one of you, for Christ's sake. Flynn is a deep state globalist. Ah, uh, fuck you. All right, and by the way, we had a couple of two buckers, for Christ's sake. Who the fuck? Uh, yo, what is this? Anison? Anison? Teenagers always stay the same age. What the fuck does that mean? End it, you fat bitch. You fucking piece of shit. End it, you fat bitch. You fucking motherfucker. I've got your bitch! I've got your bitch, you fucking cyber vermin! I've got your bitch! I'm telling you, man, I'm going to keep fucking playing this until you fucking idiots recognize that that's why Donald Trump didn't notify Nancy Plastic Face Pelosi. That's why he didn't notify Shifty Schiff. That's why he didn't notify Chuck Kick the American People in the Ball Schumer. That's why he didn't notify these Democrats when he said okay to this military operation to kill Baghdadi, the head of ISIS, because it was the Democrats! It was the Democrats that armed, 
funded and trained ISIS, you fucking dickheads. Wake up! Wake up! For Christ's sake. Wake up! Now shut the fuck up. Everybody shut up. Shut your ass. No more text to speeches. Sit there and fucking listen, you stupid idiot dickheads. Listen! Play it! We were going to face. Well, I admire your fucking very much. We you fucking piece of shit! You're enjoying you this country's fucking downfall. Watch, piece of crap! Watch, 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 I'm watch, watch, I'm gonna end this fucking watch, show, watch, you fucking watch, shitheads. Watch, 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 I don't need this from you fucking people, man. I don't fucking need this from you fucking stupid life losers. Alright? I don't need this from you fucking life losers, because that's what you are! That's what you all are! You're a bunch of insignificant fucking eaters! You're useless eaters! And what the fuck is this? A uh, Ghostler Shekel Groover. Wow. Ghost blood pressure. Do forum shout out. Fuck you. Fuck all of you. Jesus Ghost, you need to calm down here. I don't need to Breath. do shit. All right, man. Repeat after me. I don't need to my do shit. My vagina is clean. My vagina is special. Oh, my fuck, vagina is fuck clean. you, man. My vagina fuck is you, special. you, you fucking perverts. Triggers aren't real. Fuck all of you, you fucking sick panda. ass perverted sons of bitches, man. All right. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, I'm a communist. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck all of you fucking text-to-speech idiots. Fuck you, fat man, 1945. And fuck you, shut it, bitch boy. Let me tell you something. You keep coming at me, I will end this fucking broadcast, all right? You keep coming at me, I will end this son of a if bitch and broadcast. you want to be heard, you stupid idiot dickhead boomer, uh, oh, wake yeah? up. Huh? Wake up. Yeah, Wake yeah. Up. Fuck you, you, you useless eater. All right, you're a fucking useless eater, just like fucking goddamn Kissinger what said. What do you mean the country is at stake? Just power the Crystal Heart LMAO. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, you know, fuck off, man. You see, this is why America's being flushed down the proverbial toilet. Do you understand that? This is why. This is the riffraff we have in America. This type of dumbfounded, ridiculous idiocy. This is what's prevalent in this fucking country, man. All right, this is the majority of America. A bunch of fucking useless eaters. A bunch of fucking idiots. A bunch of idiots. Hey, look at this here. Hey, can you change the channel? I, I, I hear the Golden Girls is like, fuck you. Fuck you. Chat poll, press one if Ghost should end the show. Two, if he should continue to gargle on Trump's balls. Fuck it. You know what? I'm telling you right now, I will end this son of a bitch. You fucking keep testing me, man. Keep testing me! Keep pushing me, you fucking assholes! You think I'm gonna waste a Monday? I've already wasted my weekend on you ungrateful dickheads. I've already wasted a whole fucking weekend on you fucking digital disgusting cyber vermin, man. And that's all y'all are fucking good for out here, huh? Is turning the internet into a fucking toxic cesspool. That's what the fuck you people are good at, huh? Turning the fucking internet into a toxic cesspool. I bet you're fucking proud of yourselves about that shit, aren't you? You fucking assholes. Blah, 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 bitchler for two bucks. Fuck you. And what is this, 2012, fan? America has been arming and training terrorists since the Bay of Pigs. They do not send troops. They try to play 5D chess and get burned bad every time. By the way, Ghost, can I get your opinion on the Bay of Pigs? I've never heard your take on it. Well... I don't want to get to the Bay of Pigs. I, I think, unfortunately, John F. Kennedy did the right thing. He was being goaded into an invasion into Cuba, and he stood down. And unfortunately, a lot of folks that were a part of the CIA were a part of that invasion, got captured, tortured, etc. And uh, that was probably one of many factors on why John F. Kennedy was assassinated. But anyway, the point I'm trying to make is, folks, is I'm sitting over here trying to tell you people that this damn Democrat Party under the Obama administration armed, trained, and funded ISIS. And that's why Donald Trump was unbelievably confident when he said that he could take out the caliphate, that he could take out ISIS, because he knew... He knew that this was nothing more than some ridiculous CIA operation that has done nothing more than been the terrorist faction of the CIA. End it, bitch. I'm going to end this, dude. I'm not even joking around. I mean, if if this is what this is going to be, I don't want to fucking stream today. All right? I'm not even joking around. I'm not even going to stream today. If this is what the fuck this is all about, if this is it, all right? I mean, I will fucking end it, dude. Don't fucking test me, all right? 
Don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with me. You hear the crotch rockets on the fucking assholes that are outside? They're already fucking with me. You fucking internet people, don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with me, you zombie cooch licking, cauliflower cock sucking, uh, cuckold connoisseurs. Son of a bitch. Fuck you, goddamn crotch rocket fuckers. Fuck you and fuck these assholes on the internet, man. Good God, what kind of a fucking carpet munch and Monday is it? Yes, oh. now we know what being such an awful president yeah, fuck, the whole yes, stadium fuck will this tell you to fuck evil off the asshole. And to I'm telling you guys are face, pissing me off to today. Arrested. I'll tell you that right goddamn now. Interrupting this crap. We'll kick your Interrupting ass if you don't this end this crap. I'm telling you, man, I should take the whole fucking week off. Uh, I should take the whole fucking week off is what I should fucking take. I'll tell you that right now. Fucking sitting over here interrupting my broadcast for Christ's sake, man. I'm sitting over here. I'm trying to shoot pearls at your fucking asses, and you people don't even give a fuck. I'm tired, dude. I'm so fucking tired of fucking trying to, you know, give you all the fucking truth. And look at these fucking idiots. Huh? Look at these fucking idiots in the chat room. Look at these four flushing barnyard spinach eating sons of bitches in the goddamn chat room. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what is that? Oh, yeah, yeah, Rego, yeah, fuck you, all right? Drink yourself to death, fuck you. Crotch rocket guy, fuck you, all right? Do a flip baguette, yeah, fuck you too, all right? Fuck all of you. I hope you all die of cancer of the cock. Do you hear me? I hope you all die of cancer of the cock. What? What is a seer? Hey, Ghost, can, can we talk about video games or anime? Uh, fuck you, all right? You could shove your goddamn cartoon fetish women right up your goddamn latent homosexual ass, all right? Come out the closet, you stupid, dumb fucking shitheads. <sighs> Jesus Christ, man. I haven't even been on here an hour. I haven't even been on here an hour, and this is the kind of garbage that I'm, I'm getting here, all right? I'm sitting over here, I'm providing substance upon substance upon substance on the debating table, and yet this is the kind of garbage that I'm taking left and right. Look at this shit! Look! Look! End your show, you whore. You see this? Huh? You see this shit? End the show, you whore. This is the kind of garbage that I've got fucking listening to me! And you know who I blame for this? I blame Desi for this. You fucking Aspie! I blame you! Because look at these idiots. You've turned them just as ass me retarded as you. What? 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 Still unbanned from the YouTube chat, I see. Still scared to oh, see the truth. Fuck off, what evil mirror. You're, You're probably paid by the DNC, you scumbag. You're probably paid by the DNC. Fucking shit. I'm not even joking around. I blame Desi for all this. I blame him. All right, what is this, J Money? Even if we were to understand this, what are we to do about it? Take control of the institutions others, of we'll authority, you dumbass! We can't go postal since oh we don't advocate Oh my god! It. And most uh, of us became numb. This is why the boomers are better than you. Existed. This is so why the then. boomers are better than you. You get it now? You get it? We won't leave you alone, motorcycle, motorcycle, ah, motorcycle, motorcycle, Christ. motorcycle. This is why the boomers are better than you. That's why they're still in charge, and they're 75 years old. Motorcycle, motorcycle, Because you people are ignorant. You're fucking stupid. Motorcycle, 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 End it, you fat fucking bitch, Desi is king, you a little chubby oh, bitch. Oh, oh, yeah, heart attack, you want me to fucking end it, you fucking dickhead? Don't test me! Look at it, like somebody at least said, continue the show, you saint. I thank you very much. I appreciate that there's people that appreciate my social and political commentary. And I haven't even gotten into the financial insight yet, but you know something? I don't even understand why I even need to get into that, because none of you idiots are even fucking, you're even, you're even listening! End the show and go do another shooting then. What, what are you what the up fuck to you like? talking about? I've been in Texas in the last few months. Fuck you, man. Fuck you. I fuck you. Hey, ghost. Sorry for leaving. Oh, I just had a gamer moment is all. It's oh, why I called Christ. them all niggers before leaving too. Oh, Jesus Can we discuss Christ. Halo and Xbox and Microsoft? This isn't Captain fucking Desi. Give me a fucking break. Look, this is not funny. Also, this shit is not 
fucking funny, all right? I'm a serious fucking man, all right? And I want each and every one of you fucking pathetic internet people to take me serious, all right? Because what I'm saying is serious. What is this, smart fucking millennial? Oh, that's a fucking, uh, that's a fucking joke. Smart millennial. What is this? There's nothing wrong with expanding social program. Fuck you, you fucking leftist trash. All right. What, I'm supposed to sit here and I'm supposed to feel bad for the poll in America? Huh? Ghost, I get so hot when you end the show. Yeah, Jesus fuck Christ, off. Daddy, this isn't bro, fucking manly broke. Dominance around all over you know, you're, you're, uh, fuck all of you motorcycle, trolls, man. Motorcycle, fuck all of you motorcycle, trolls, motorcycle, man. Motorcycle, 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 fuck motorcycle, all of you trolls. Motorcycle, you fucking trolls, god damn it. I wish I could pop you in your mouth. I wish I could punch you in your fucking mouth, man. Motorcycle, motorcycle, I wish I could pop you in your fucking mouth. Motorcycle, 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 motorcycle. Jesus fucking Christ, I'm gonna end this fucker! I'm gonna end this show! And if you keep pushing me, I'll end it sooner than you can say! Shut up with your fucking motorcycle! Stick your fucking motorcycle up your feminine penis! Alright. I'm fucking tired of you trolls, man. And hey, what? 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 Ghost the clown equals no respect. Fuck you, all right? And whoever the hell put $2, Ghost Boomer Aspie, fuck you too, all right? Now you sons of bitches better listen to me, all right? I'm providing social and political commentary that you fucking idiots need to put inside your brains. And if you don't shut the fuck up, oh, oh God. Oh, God, look at this. End it, bitch, no balls. End it, bitch. End it. Bitch! Fucking shithead! I got your bitch! Alright! I've got your bitch! Uh, Ghost, I still don't agree uh, what you did with those And fuck you, this isn't the real Captain Desi! Shut up! Kill yourself, you Shut up! You soy boy. All of you fucking trolls that are listening to the sound of my voice! Fuck you, man! Fuck you! <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> What? All of Yaxlov, first of all, thanks for coming here today and doing a show for the real fans, not these troll fuckers. Yeah, thank you, man. Pig, 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 oh, pig, fucking pig, shit, pig, pig, you're the pig, fucking pig, assholes with a fucking pig. pig, pig, pig I got pig, your fucking pig. Pig, 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 p
cancer 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 oh, cancer fuck cancer fuck cancer you, cancer you, cancer fuck cancer you, cancer man. cancer 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 cancer
hail Porkler. Fucking hail Porkler. I'm tired, dude. I can't take this anymore. I'm sorry. I fucking I can't. I'm sorry. I can't take this shit. I can't. I just. Who the hell fucking donated two dollars? L O L K K K soy boy ghosty. Listen, asshole. All right. What I'm trying to do. What I'm trying to do is spark synapses in the brains of you fucking mindless morons. All right. I'm trying to provide social and political commentary, but you fucking idiots won't let me talk. You won't let me talk! And I'm telling you, you fucking motherfuckers, if you continue to tell me to end this show, I'm gonna fucking end it. And what the fuck are you gonna do then, huh? What are you gonna do then besides play with your own pecker shaft, you fucking son of a bitch? What are you gonna do then? I, I can't take this shit anymore, man. I can't take this shit anymore, man. Fucking shit, man. I can't, I can't end this shit. I can't take it. I can't, I can't. I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. It's not even 9.45 out here at the Ghost Show Studios, and this is the kind of horse shit I've got to take. Fuck all these people in Texas speech, man. Fuck you, man. Fucking harsh in my mellow on a Monday, for Christ's sake, man. Fuck you. Oh, God. Evil mirror, this fucking piece of shit. Lean hog is up a cent today. Funnily, I fuck you. You fucking leftist piece of fucking trash. Fuck you. Ended Coomler, you bitch. You fucking son of a bitch. God damn it. I've got your bitch. Why are you out of breath? Because you fucking people keep pissing me to fuck off. That's why. That's why I'm fucking breathing hard, man. Because of you fucking pieces of troll terrorist shit. Because of all of you. And who the hell's bloodbath for two bucks? Telling me, calling me an autistic boomer. Fuck you. You're the one that's probably autistic. Huh? You, you fucking soy boy, fucking sweet and sour Szechuan sauce fucking idiot. Sit there and shut your ass and stick pickle Rick right up your fucking cornhole. You goddamn man child. I'm fucking tired of this shit, man. I'm fucking tired of it. I'm tired of it. Yeah, the sun is warm. The grass is green. Yeah, that ain't gonna fucking work. That ain't gonna work with these sons of bitches. These fucking... What? What? Stick this up your ass. Corn cob? Huh? A corn? Yeah, fuck you with a corn up the ass bullshit. I remember that shit. I'm tired of you fuckers, man. I'm tired of you pansexual Peter Puffin, gender fluid fondling, rusty trombone playing, dirty Sanchez loving, Cincinnati blow tie receiving pieces of anal object aficionado shit. Shout out to all my knickers. We don't be, be giving like shout outs, this. asshole. Don't be giving shout outs on my stream. Don't be giving shout outs on my stream. <sighs> Boomer raging for coins. We don't care about the poor, but except. People care about you. Go, go fuck off, asshole, all right? Go fuck off, all right? I don't appreciate what the fuck has happened to me tonight. I don't appreciate this. I thought when I came back to YouTube, we were going to have a little bit more political and social commentary. I thought when we came back to YouTube, we were going to have a little bit more financial insight. But no, this, this fucking idiot. Look at this fucking idiot, for Christ's sake. Fucking pieces of shit, man. I wish you were in front of my face. I wish you were in front of my face. Fuck. <sighs> Patiently waiting for two bucks. Hey, ghost, it's been a while. Sorry to see the show is going like this. Yeah, no shit, man. Hope things turn around. <sighs> no shit, man. No shit. Patiently waiting. Look at these fucking idiots. Look at these fucking idiots. Hey, Mary Bell, fuck you. You're a piece of shit. All right? Hey, Maggie the Inkling, fuck you. You're a piece of trash. All right, how do you like that shit? <sighs> Fucking asshole. Hey, Bird Tendo Mac 2, fuck you. All right? Zyklon Dan, fuck you. Came scares, fuck you up your fucking chocolate starfish ass. All right? 
Jay Venom, fuck you! Aron O'Donovan, fuck you! Alright? Chad Poopter Griffin, fuck you up your dirty asshole! Fucking piece of shit. Jason Genova, fuck you, you fucking stupid fucking half a tard looking shithead! Jesus Christ. All of you, man! B3 Chandler, fuck you! Rick Hoover, fuck you! Scoot TM, fuck you! Alright, Jay Venom, fuck you! Alright, Troy Eldridge, fuck you! Alright, fuck all of you! <laughs> fuck all of you, man! Sear, stick your political commentary up your ass. Do you understand? That's what I'm known for! I'm known for political and social commentary, you Devil dick! Nigger. Flag empty threatler's oh, channel for fuck racism. fuck off. Well, fuck you. Magosi rat hambonius. Fuck you. All right. End the show, you... I'm going to give you five more minutes. And if you... Look at this. I can look at this fucking asshole. Look at this! I'm not gonna say that name, you sick fucking goddamn racist pieces of shit. I know all of you sons of bitches are racist, alright? And bloodbath, fuck you! For two dollars, fuck you! I can't believe you people are fucking treating me like this, man! Props to Cecil McFly. Who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is Cecil Faggy McFly? Who the hell is that? We got Mary Bell in the place. Uh, we uh, have all right, I'm, tired. Uh, I'm, tired this, I'm tired. I'm tired of this, dude. I'm tired. I'm tired of this crap. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm ending this shit. I'm ending this fucking shit. Fuck shout all of you. Jackler, Desi, Fuck it. Don't be giving user, shout outs on my show. Sam Don't be giving West, shout outs on my show. Don't be giving shout outs on my show. I'm done, dude. I'm fucking. I'm done with you people. Fuck all of you. I thought I was going to have our, myself a decent goddamn uh, Monday show. I thought that I was going to provide some political and social... What? Sad. You prize shekels more than sparking synapses. What the fuck you're you talking about? I'm being bombarded by assholes. What are you talking about? Shekelstein Noseberg Shekels. I'm being bombarded by a bunch of trolls. What are you talking about? For something and didn't sacrifice content for shekels. What are you talking about? I'm being bombarded by fucking goddamn trolls. Ghost, sorry about the trolls. Oh God. It appears you are in need of some testicles. Oh, Would you like me to donate I mean, give me mine a after my bottom break. surgery? Motorcycle, 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 oh, motorcycle, Jesus. motorcycle. I mean, do you all see what I gotta put up with on a consistent basis, man? Do you all see? Snowflake, snowflake, Do you all see? For Christ's sake! Motorcycle, 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 snowflake, 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 motorcycle, 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 snowflake, 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 motorcycle, 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 snowflake, 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 motorcycle, 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 motorcycle. Motorcycle, sweating, snowflake, I'm motorcycle, motorcycle, like motorcycle, 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 oh, motorcycle, motorcycle, Christ. motorcycle, snowflake, snowflake. Can you shut up, man? Please just shut up. Uh, can you all just shut up? All right, nobody donate to me anymore. All right, do you hear me? And that's in order. That's in order. Don't donate to me anymore, for Christ's sake, man. If you continue to want to show, don't donate to me anymore, or I'll end this shit! Oh, Christ, man. Shoutouts to Jackler. And Doba, don't do any shoutouts on my broadcast! Don't be doing any shoutouts on my broadcast! Snake, snowflake, oh, snake, God. snowflake, snake, snowflake, snake, snowflake, oh, snake, snowflake, 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 snake, snowflake
Jesus Christ. Who the fuck donated two dollars? Don't know the tard, boys. Don't know the tard. Don't know the fucking tard. And here's this fucking fruit bowl bloodbath again. Fuck you, bloodbath. All right, sit there and shut up. Jesus fucking Christ, man. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here. I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing here anymore, man. I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing here anymore, man. I mean, a fucking Monday. I mean, dude, I, I I gave you all a Friday show. I gave you all a Saturday night troll show. And this is how you fucking treat me, man. I'm trying to be serious. What? See her, don't worry, sweet buttercup ghost. Everything's going to be all right, darling. Fucking fuck you, man. I'd buy that for a dollar. Ghost is in a wheelchair. Oh. Pig, 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 man, pig, I, pig, 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 pig. I'm getting tired of this, man. Come on, man. Pig, 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 pig. I'm getting tired of this shit, man. Pig, 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 pig. Fuck you and your pig emojis, man. Pig, 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 pig. Fuck you and your pig emojis, man. Pig, 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 pig. I'm telling you, I'm gonna end this fucking broadcast. I'm telling you all right now, I'm gonna end this fucking broadcast. I'm telling you all right now, I'm gonna end this broadcast. Pig, 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 pig. Shout out to my boy Simulator 23 for coming home. Uh, Khabib Nurmagomedov, uh, Alcant, uh, Dangerdon, Larga Vita Azteca Volk, uh, Dova Dude, uh, Jackler, Scoot TM, Dark Meme Magician Girl, oh Monkey God. de la Rocha. Stop Easter, doing shout outs on my broadcast, you fucker. Kamene, Asad. <laughs> <laughs> We got Keem scarce in the joint. We have Stop fucking doing goddamn shout outs to these goddamn internet people. Stop doing shout outs to these sick internet people that don't deserve it, man. And of course, props to the maddest of the mad lads, Jackler. Praise be to Jackler. Fuck you. Fuck Jackler and his fucking limey ass. Green Apple Woman School, Green Apple Woman Chicago School, Chicago Teachers Apple Union, school, yeah, these green fucking Apple selfish school, pieces of green shit. Green Apple Woman School, Green <sighs> Apple Woman School, Green oh, Apple God. Woman School, Green Apple 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 Woman School. Oh, God. Can you stop and leave me alone? Tell us what to do. Remember, us trolls own you. You don't now own back shit. To Shut like up. Monkey, we you don't own for our shit. Little bitchler. You don't own shit. I'd buy that for a dollar. Ghost, my dude, you gotta cut down on beer, especially when hops are a source of phytoestrogen. Oh, fuck off. It may have very well substituted for soy and seems uh, no, to have taken fuck a toll off. on you emotionally. Fuck off, man. <laughs> I'd buy that oh, my for God. A I can't. And let me ask Chad pooped her griffin. Here's $3. Do the stanky leg on the air. Fuck you, man. I'm not a goddamn fucking whore. All right? I'm tired of you fucking... Shut up, Rick Hoover. I'm not your fucking property, man. Fuck you, all right? Fucking Monkey De La Rocha, fuck you. All right? All right, Team Scares, fuck you up, your goddamn rose-butted asshole. All right? Fuck you, Mary Bell. You know what? If Mary Bell keeps talking shit, I'm gonna send that bitch into the fucking kitchen to get acquainted with some goddamn appliances. Shut up! <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ. Fuck you, Jackler, right? Fuck you! And you know what? Fuck you too, Bloodbath! Fuck you! <sighs> I'm tired, dude. I'm tired of this shit, man. I'm fucking tired of this shit. I'm tired of you people. I'm trying to spark some fucking synapses in the brains of you dickheads. But no! But no! You know what I'm going to do? I'm doing me. Fuck all of you people. I'm going to be doing me here for the next five minutes. How do you like that shit, you fucking stupid goddamn fucking ridiculous pieces of fucking useless eater shit? Flapping your fat Cheeto stained fingers on the keyboard. You just sit there and shut your goddamn mouth while I'm doing me. All right? I'm going to do me. Fuck you. All right? Give me my fucking beer glass. Give me my fucking beer glass. Hey, look at the seer. Stop crying, sweet prince. I shall dry your tears and give you my warmth. Why don't you take about 10 steps away from my fucking butt crack with that talk? You fucking piece of shit. All right? What? No. 
fucking shut up with the shout outs, man! Shut up with the goddamn shout outs! Granny, Alex Jones, Hitler, oh, Stalin, Bill Cosby, Tyrone, the 18 naked cowboys in the shadows at Ram Ranch, a bunch of fucking niggers, and most importantly, Oh, you fucking racist bastard! I don't condone any of these fucking racist text to speeches, man! I don't condone any of this shit! I don't condone any of this shit! These people are just text speeching to fuck with me. That's what they're doing. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Look, look at this. Considering you won't get round to the trying to do my Bitcoin job. Damn it. Two percent. Ethereum is at nine point six percent. Now they're trying to do my Bitcoin job. One point nine five percent. Fucking assholes, man. Look, all of you just XRP shut up and let me do me for a couple of fucking Dash minutes, all right? You've had your time. You've had your time. You've had your time. Is at zero point four two Just let me do me for a couple of goddamn minutes, you son of a bitch. Zero point three one percent. God. Oh, God. Just leave me alone. Chad Poopter Griffith, just fucking leave me alone. And shut up, I can drink whatever the fuck I want to. I'd buy that. What is this? Press B if you're bored of the rage segment. You know what? Fuck you, Anonymous. That's why you're sitting here listening, you dickhead. That's why you're sitting here listening to my voice, fanning your fucking nuts, because you're listening to a fucking real man on the damn internet, for Christ's sake. All right? That's why most of you fucking sons of bitches are sitting back listening to this real man asserting his manly dominance all over the Ghost internet. in my medical opinion, you should take a week off and recharge your batteries uh, yeah. or otherwise would not be able yeah, to do a show on Monday. Yeah, this is coming from Dr. Scrotum. Now, please yeah, this is coming from Dr. Scrotum. An doctor. Fuck and please off. lay off from the beer for a bit, cheers. I don't want to lay off anything, all right? I don't want to fucking lay off anything. I do whatever the fuck I want to do, all right? Nobody tells me what to do! And fuck you, bloodbath! Fuck you, man! With these fucking two dollar donos, I see you, you son of a bitch! Fuck you, bloodbath! Shout out for chairman of the fuck off, fucking chairman, my man, fuck off! I stick fucking chopsticks up chairman Mao's fat asshole. How I, how you like that shit, huh? I shove a fucking egg roll down Chairman Mao's fucking double chin throat. How you like that shit? All right. Everybody shut the fuck up, all right? If you're listening to me, shut the fuck up, all right? If you're listening to me right now, stop flapping your Dorito stained fingers on the keyboard talking shit to me. If you're listening to me, stop flapping your fucking gator and listen to me. Listen to me! I'm gonna do me here for the next five minutes, maybe ten minutes, maybe a little more. I don't fucking know. You fucking people that pissed me the fuck off for the last goddamn time. This is the goddamn camel that broke the fucking camel's back, alright? So what I'd like everybody to do is shut the fuck up and let me do me! Do you hear me, you sick, demented, twisted fucking internet people? Let me do me! I gotta do me here for a second, man. That's the only way I could continue with this fucking broadcast, man. That's the only way I can sustain doing this fucking broadcast, man. I'd buy that for a dollar. No. No. You know what? Fuck you, man. Fuck you, no. Fuck you. I'd buy that what is for this? A what is this? I'm half egg. Yo, you fucking piece of shit. You piece of shit. Fuck you for making me say that, man! Fuck you! And what is this, Twin Peaks? Ghost, we're calling your name. We have a special on Ghost Pepper Wings tonight with beer. If you come right now, you might be able to catch happy hour. So come down for some sports and some food. Yeah, you know what? That's what I fucking should be. That's what I should be. That's what I should be doing right now. Ghost, did you see my third quarter results? My company is kicking yeah. ass and taking Fuck names. you, Elon Musk, all right, you fucking fraud. Go back to fucking South Africa or Canada or wherever the fuck you come from. I'm fucking sick of looking at your disgusting, despicable, stretched out plastic surgeon face. All right. All right I've had enough. Everybody shut up. Don't donate any more text to speech. And all of you people in the chat room, you better tell me nothing but nice things. All right? You better tell me nothing but positive remarks. If not, I am fucking out of here. I am out of here. I am out.
The markets are looking pretty good. Oh, fuck you, Tyler. Ghost Granny is up 2.68%. Fuck you. Oh, now you're taking your digs in, huh, Tyler? Now you're taking your fucking digs, 225905, Tyler, fucking son of a bitch. Beer is up 108%. Pigs are up 238%. I'm tired, dude. I'm fucking so tired. I'm so fucking tired, man. I can't take this shit anymore. And you know what? Bloodbath, fuck you, man. Who the fuck is this dickhead bloodbath? Take it up the fucking ass, for Christ's sake, man. All right, you know what time it is. I think everybody already knows what the fuck time it is. I mean, everybody already knows what time it is. It's the only way that I'm going to continue to do a damn show, and that's if I have more beer! you goddamn right, man. I need me some more fucking beer. Shout out to Distillin. And fuck off with your goddamn shout outs, man. Stop doing shout outs on my show. Pig, 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 pig. Yeah, fucking pig, pig, pig. Yeah, fuck you. All right, let me do me for five fucking minutes. All right, that's all I'm asking. All right, that's all I'm asking. Five minutes of some fucking peace and quiet. Stop fucking donating against this speech. And let me have some peace and quiet. Motorcycle, rocket, snowflake, wheelchair, symbol, rocket, motorcycle. Motorcycle, snowflake, motorcycle, snowflake, oh, rocket, off, wheelchair, Brooke, symbol, snowflake, God. motorcycle, rocket, motorcycle, Give me my snowflake, beer. rocket, Z, 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 Give me my Z, fucking snowflake, beer, man. wheelchair, symbol, motorcycle, motorcycle, rocket, yeah, motorcycle, fuck rocket, you snowflake, and your fucking motorcycle, motorcycle, rocket, rocket, cow, bullshit, cow, cow, man. cow, 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 yeah, cow, 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 Fuck you, man. I thought you were cool with me, Brooke, goddammit. And what the fuck is this? Chad pooped or Griffin? Hi, take it, hup the... Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you, Peter <laughs> Griffin, you Chad pooped or whatever your fucking name is. And what is this? More photoestrogen or how not to eat soy but still act like you ate soy? I'm tired of this shit, all right? Everybody shut the fuck up. Give me five minutes by myself. No fucking text to speeches. None of you assholes in the chat room talking shit to me. Give me five minutes alone! For Christ's sake! Now, I just poured a beer up in here, okay? I just poured a beer. It's my first fucking beer. And look, I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to drink, all right? Because I know that it's affected my health. Well, what? Yo, so ho to. Yo, so ho to. You just said fat. I didn't say that. Go fuck yourself. I never said anything like that, all right? Fuck you. Let me fucking drink some beer. I'm sorry, folks. For everybody who's expecting social and political commentary, I'm sorry. But you see, look at this shit. Look, look. What is this? Based IRA soldier. Ghost, what's your view on the IRA? And do you think that Ireland will ever be united? Probably not. Okay? Probably not. And uh, IRA, I don't know. I don't have anything in particular between either or. I think it's a domestic qualm, quarrel, excuse me. And they need to figure it out. All right? And whoever the fucking put $2, no. Again, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Buy that for a dollar. Yeah, Thomas Soy. But listen, just stop donating for five minutes, please. All right? Or I'm, I'm out of here, dude. I, I'll go to Twin Peaks right now. It's only t 10 o'clock at night right now. I could go to Twin Peaks and watch Monday Night Football on the damn screen, all right? Get myself some ghost pepper wings and, and drink some goddamn 29-degree draft beer and 32-ounce ice-cold mugs and have it delivered to me by a 20-year-old piece of ass instead of sitting here fucking with you people, all right? Jesus Christ, what is this? Mrs. Ghost is gaping. Oh, Jesus. Shut up, asshole. All right? Just shut up. And what is this? All right? See, I bet your man boobs are five golf balls in length. Fuck off, asshole. All right? Why don't you ask your mama? I was at her all-you-can-eat buffet the other night. Just ask her, for Christ's sake. Yeah, I like twin deeks. Oh, fuck! Listen, shut up! Shut the fuck up! Don't donate any fucking more! Don't donate anymore! Okay? I want to have five minutes of peace. I want to drink some beer. I want to break out some tetrahydrocannabinol. I may want to have a shot. Shut the fuck up! Shut up! Oh, God! Who the fuck?
fuck. Uh, you know, these aren't my fans. These are, there's some, there's some raid going on in here or something, all right? There's some kind of raid going on. And what is this? A joke to cheer you up? What do you call a fat man who gets dubs on 4chan? A fat get? Oh, you fucking piece of shit. You fucking piece of crap, man. And who is this fat man 1945? Leave and let a video of Trump play to calm down. You know what? Maybe I should do that shit, right? Maybe I should put on a damn... Maybe I should put on a video of Trump. Hey, what is this? Five minutes of Alex Jones? Look, don't bring up Alex Jones, you dickhead, on my goddamn show, all right? Don't bring up Alex Jones on my fucking show. He's been ripping me off for over 12 years, and I'm sick of it. What is this? Ghost drinks pig piss. Yeah, fuck off, asshole, all right? Fuck you, whoever donated that for two bucks, all right? Now, listen. I don't want to hear from any of you pieces of garbage. I don't want to hear it, all right? Leave me alone. Stop trolling me. And let me tell you, each and every one of you that are listening to this broadcast, what? 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 I'm going to spend all day taking pictures of myself in scrunchies and put it up uh, on the internet. Who gives a I shit? I drink beer out of my hydro flask. S-K-S-K-S-K-S-K-S-K. Who gives a shit? Check out my oversized hoodie and matching Crocs. Oh, God. Can you just shut up, man? Creeper old ghost. You rage at anime freaks for being closet pedos, but you're the old geezer using dono money to oogle barely legal girls who oh, flirt with pathetic shut gas the bag fuck boomers up, for tips. You stupid moron. Hypocrite. That's a fucking lie. I don't ever fucking do anything on this internet other than do this broadcast and uh, conduct myself in, in research, okay? All right, so don't sit here and give me that crap. All right, you're a fucking liar. It's a false indictment. That's fucking libelous. And let me tell you something right now. If I knew who the hell you were, I, I would fucking implement fucking punitive damages on your ass, all right? <laughs> what is this? I steal for Malhex. Fuck, fuck you! Fuck you! And Bloodbath, can you fuck off? Who the hell is this asshole Bloodbath? Tired of his fucking little two buck little tidbits, man. Fuck you, bloodbath. Jesus fucking hell, man. And look at this anonymous. I love you. Yeah. What, what, what are you trying to do? Some kind of a fucking little hippie shit? Uh, no, no, no. Hey, asshole. Uh, it says it. No, it, balls no, no, no. It says in the description, you idiot. Not available tonight will be considered a donation. It plainly says it in the description. You want to be a fucking idiot? Thank you for the donation. I appreciate it, all right? Thank you very much, okay? Look in the description. I've been saying I'm not doing $18 and 66 buckers, you fucks. All right? It says it the whole fuck. It says it all right there. Not available tonight will be considered a donation. So fuck you, all right? Fuck you. Jesus fucking Christ. And let me tell you, if you idiots keep calling me a scambler and all that shit, I'm getting the fuck out of here, okay? I'm getting the fuck out of here, and you people can sit there and play with your own pecker shafts because I'm not going to sit here and be belittled by a bunch of two-bit fucking internet people that are doing nothing but cyberbullying because that's what the fuck you're doing, all right? All right, asshole! And look at this jackler scream louder. China can't hear you. Fuck China, all right? And what is this only troll me ghost? What is that? Is that a fucking spin on the name of only use me blade or some fucking bullshit? Jesus fucking Christ. Look, everybody's calling me a scambler because I won't. Look, it says it in the fucking description, you idiot. Twin Peaks equals creepy old man. 20-year-old piece of ass sounds barely legal. Dude. 18 years old is legal in America, okay? 18 years old is legal in America, so fuck yourself. And what is this? I love twos cam? What the fuck is that? I love twos... I'm a fucking piece of shit. You fucking pieces of garbage, man. All right, I'm ending this fucking show. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to play this fucking game with you stupid fucking shithead people. I'm not joking around. I'm not playing this fucking game anymore, man. I'm tired of you people, all right? I'm tired. I'm tired of you assholes. Piece of shit. 
All right, and what, like, hey, if you're going to call me a scare, just fucking play the fucking video so these idiots are out here not calling me a scamler, okay? This one was requested by End Our Suffering. Do not donate any more $18.66 buckers. Or Shekels can be even dearer, friend. Especially when there are All right, I'm ending. I'm ending the fucking show, dude. I'm not I'm not fucking joking around. I am ending the fucking show. I am ending the fucking show. All right? I'm ending the fucking show. Here it is. Here's end our suffering. This is what they request. Yeah, real funny. A fucking a cripple cat. All right, yeah, it's real. Here, play it again. Play it one more again. Look at this. Yeah, real fucking funny. Real fucking hilarious. Real fucking hilarious. And let me tell you something. I, I, I told everybody not to do another $18.66 bucker, and you want to be a fucking bunch of stupid fucking dickheads that think fucking rules don't apply to your stupid shithead ass? Well, then that's your fucking problem, all right? That's your fucking problem. I'm fucking tired. I'm sick. I'm, I'm fucking disgusted with this shit. I'm tired of you fucking idiot people, all right? I'm fucking tired of you fucking people. All right, so I'm ending the fucking show. All right, fuck all of you that don't know how to fucking follow directions. All right, fuck you. All right, fuck you. Here, here's Jamie fucking dumb idiot doesn't know how to listen to shit Williamson. Here's his stupid fucking gay video. Here you go, right there. That's great. Look at this. Homoerotica videos right here. That's great, isn't it? This is what this idiot wanted right here. This this is what this idiot wanted right here. Okay? Here it is. All right. A bunch of sick, demented fucking... Oh, Jesus Christ. I mean, it, it is so fucking stupid, dude. All right? It is fucking so stupid. All right? There's your stupid fucking gay video. There it is right there. What? What? There once was a woman named Louise. Her pubes hang down to her knees. The crabs got together and knitted a sweater so in winter her flaps oh, won't freeze. Who, who gives a shit about that sick fucking shit? Here it is again. Listen. Play it. There it is. There's Jamie Williamson's dumb fucking stupid video of a bunch of muscle-bound idiot men here. Here it is. Right there. Here it is. And what? What? The pet Mexican. Don't forget to play mine from the beginning of the... I'm ending the fucking show, dude. I'm not... I'm f Fuck all of you people. You people make me fucking sick, man. You're gonna be lucky if I even come back for the rest of the fucking week. I mean, look at this gay shit that fucking Jamie fucking Williamson fucking wanted. Look at this stupid shit. Fucking dumb stupidity is what I'm looking at. Dumb gay stupidity. Jesus fucking Christ. All right, look. There it is. A bunch of homoerotica bullshit. Hopefully everybody gets off on it. Yay, right? Fucking idiots. All right, take this shit off. Take this fucking shit off. All right? And don't donate anymore, dude. I'm going to fucking end the show. Fuck all of you people. Seriously, you fucking make me sick. Fucking pieces of garbage, man. After I tell you all don't donate this shit, you fucking donate it like a bunch of dickheads that think that I owe you some shit fucking assholes. Fucking hate you all. I'm not even fucking joking around. All right, I'm not even fucking joking around. What? I'm a I don't know what the fuck that means. I don't know what the fuck that means for Christ's sake, all right? Jesus fucking Christ. I'm telling you, man. All right, what am I supposed to be watching here? What am I supposed to be watching? All right, this is what I'm watching here. Put, put, the, put the shit on. All right, apparently some stupid bimbo Flash the camera during the, World, of the World Series brought a lot of good headlines. Jordan Alvarez gets the start and comes through clutch for his team. Two run homer. This guy, Happy Gilmore, beard in both hands. Doesn't need a glove, doesn't need a hand. Just take it right off the peck and go on his merry way. He actually puts the beers down, picks up the ball, we get it. saves this woman's life. Oh no! Oh, he's a hero. And he got the ball, so it's pretty cool. I mean, then two other ladies on, in the stands, on. they make... This fucking boring-ass piece of shit has got 405 fucking subscribers. This boring piece of shit... News with the, their chest. I'm in the wrong they have business, some fun dude. of their own. I mean, I'm not even joking. I'm in the wrong and bam, and this guy getting a nice peek. Tells now, as you can see, this bitch is fucking saying that she flashed herself. Here's her showing off her knockers. She's saying that she flashed herself because she's trying to bring light to breast cancer. Oh. 
buddy. Hey, you got to check this out, dude. She's going to go too. Go, 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 go. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. I but mean, back give to me the- a fucking break. All right. I mean, those stupid, dumb, fucking idiot bitches did not flash to bring any kind of attention to breast cancer. They flashed to bring attention on their dumb, stupid, dirty dish rag whore selves. All right? that That's what they did, all right? That's why they did it, okay? Now I'm out of here, okay? So for all you people that were talking all this garbage about, oh, yeah, ghost, you're not going to end it. You're not going to end it. Meh, meh, meh. I'm going to end the fucking show now because I'm tired of you fucking pieces of garbage not listening to what the fuck I'm saying. I'm tired of you stupid pieces of garbage talking garbage to me. I'm tired of you fucking stupid assholes thinking that, oh, uh, the rules don't apply to me because I'm Asperger's. I'm autistic. I'm retarded. I'm fucking tired of it, all right? So look, it's 10.15 out here at the Ghost Show Studios. I'm going to get the hell out of here. Look, shut the fuck up. You don't win shit, all right? I'm the one that's what. Hey, fuck you. Who the fuck just donated? End it, you won't. I'll fucking end it right now, you dickhead. Hey, what is this business question? I knit a lot of stuff on Etsy. The thing that sells the most is knit figurines, but I'm sick of the weebs. If you watch Uh, anime, you are a simple-minded person who doesn't care to do things for the glory of God. Thank you! Ghost, while you yourself are not obeying Jesus, you have monopoly on truthful news content. Thank you. Keep it up, man. Don't let the fags get to you. Uh, Well, I don't know. I mean, they're they're getting to me, all right. They're getting to me, all right. What is this, Seer? Crash into a tree on the way to Twin Peaks. Look at this. This is my fans right here. This is my fans right here. Crash into a tree on the way to Twin Peaks. Trolls won. The trolls didn't win shit. Listen, y'all didn't win nothing, man, all right? I'm just pissed that you people can besmirch me like this. I'm just pissed that you people have no kind of compassion for yours truly, all right? And let me tell you, uh, any of you, any one of you that are listening and that are taking any kind of gratification from me and my misery and me being fucking cyber bullied by these assholes, if you're taking any kind of gratification, you are complicit. Do you understand that? You are complicit with these goddamn cyber vermin that are cyber bullying me, man, because that's what this is. This is fucking cyber bullying, and I don't appreciate that shit, man. I have the right to do a goddamn show just like anybody else, all right? I have the right to conduct political and social commentary and financial insight like anybody else. But instead, I am being cyberbullied off of YouTube by these sick, demented, toxic trolls. And if any one of you are taking gratification in this, even if you're just sitting back laughing and and laughing at Ghost's misfortune and, and laughing at Ghost being trolled and shit, you are complicit! You are complicit! Remember, silence is consent, asshole! Silence is consent! What do you want, Dr. Scrotum, you bitch? For those that don't know, I'm actually Ghost's doctor. Uh, Ghost usually off. comes by and visit me on a regularly basis. Fuck off. Did you also know Ghost has heart problems, narcissism disorder, binge drinking disorder, gastroesophageal reflux disease, bipolar disorder? What a bunch of bullshit, all right? What a bunch of bullshit. All right, I got a fucking heart of an 18-year-old. What the hell are you talking about, for Christ's sake, all right? All right, I, that's why I drink. I drink to keep the blood loose, all right? All right, so I can, you know, go out and, and fucking be like a 21-year-old man, for Christ's sake. I mean, y'all see me, motherfuckers. I do six, seven, eight-hour shows like it ain't shit, for Christ's sake, man. I'm a machine! I'm a machine, for Christ's sake! So for all you idiots talking garbage, you don't know shit from Shinola. So shut the fuck up. Jesus Christ. I have. It's almost 10.30. I haven't even had one fucking sip of beer, for Christ's sake, all right? I haven't even had one sip of beer. So you know what? Each and every one of you scumbags that are getting gratification on my misfortune, I'm going to force you to listen to me drink beer, all right? Here, you fucking listen. Fucking motherfuckers. Give me my beer. (sighs) I needed that. 
I needed that. And I, look, I got some more... Fu- I just got me some more scotch. I got me like four or five bottles of scotch over here. I've got Johnny Walker Blue Label. I've got Glenn Livet, 15 years <laughs> age. I got Chivas Regal. What? Spermy, the butt hamster. You're a machine. Jukebox confirm. Fuck off with the fucking jukebox, <laughs> asshole. All right? Hey, what is this? LOL, you died. You won't be a machine in 10 years. Hey, in 10 years, most of you will be marking your gravesite. Me, I'll be right here, boy. I'll be right here kicking ass, taking names, you son of a bitch. So you all can sit here and have wishful thinking. I'm a bad motherfucker. Do you understand that? I can't die! I'd buy that Son of a, a bitch. Dollar. And what is a scamler? You're a glorified e You're no better than all the cam girls. Well, thank you very much, scamler, for the three bucks, baby. I appreciate it, all right? Anyway, uh, told you he wouldn't end it. Ghost, you're not tough. End it, you lying F-word. I'm, I'm going I'm to let you listen to me drink, all right? Since you idiots won't let me... Look, I've got fucking production notes that I fucking handwrite myself. And I've done it for nothing for today. I've done... I've, I've fucking handwritten production notes that I'm not even going to be able to use, for Christ's sake, all right? And I'm talking about serious subject matters, about why Trump didn't notify the Democrats about the Baghdadi hit, all right? Because they're complicit with ISIS. The Democrats funded, armed, and trained ISIS under the Obama administration, you dickheads. And what is this, Seer? You're weak. I could crack you like you were born yesterday. Oh, yeah, where the fuck are you at, Seer? Huh? Are you anywhere near San Antonio, Texas? Because I'd be more than happy to meet you. Are, are you better yet? Tell me where you live, you son of a bitch. Tell me where you live. I, I'll fucking go over there, beat your ass, bang your mom, and then kick your dog and drown your goldfish, you son of a bitch. I'm gonna sit over here thinking I'm scared of some idiot named Seer over here. And what is this, uh, Mini Moose? And here we are, back to text-to-speech hell. Yeah, no shit. No fucking shit. Like, here's Captain Hook. Still, like, you get my hands on a copy of your production notes. Ten dollars is the limit. Uh, look, I'm not... Look, these are my fucking production notes, all right? Fucking mine right here, okay? Handwritten myself. And by the way, I handwrite them on a, a piece of paper that's a hundred dollar bill. Like, it shows off a Ben Franklin hundred dollar bill, so... Just, just letting y'all know. But unfortunately, the goddamn production notes don't mean shit today. Doesn't mean shit today. And fuck you, Rump Roast, all right? Go fuck off, all right? Poindexter Roast, fuck you. Sell your ass at Twin Peaks, you whore. Dance, you bitch. Look, stop fucking calling me a whore or some kind of a stripper or a fucking dancer or whatever the fuck you're calling me. Shut the fuck up. Jesus fucking Christ. Look at all these people telling me to end the show. Look at them in the chat room. Look. Look. These idiots like, yeah, go ahead and end the show, pussy. Yeah, uh, you don't have no balls, huh? End the show, you pussy. Yeah, you don't have the balls. Look at these people. Look at them. Look at them. Fuck you. I do what I want, all right? Nobody tells me what the fuck to do. Nobody tells me what to do. You know what? I'm putting on my diffuser, all right? I, I need some aromatherapy or some shit. Put on the diffuser, for Christ's sake, man. Put on the damn diffuser. All right, here it is. It's on, for Christ. Turn it on! I need the fucking diffuser. Jesus Christ, I'm sorry, man. I need, to, I need a little bit of aromatherapy, for Christ's sake. I just put the diffuser on. I need some fucking aromatherapy. I need, I need it all, dude. I need it fucking all. I mean, y'all, look at what they're doing to me, man. Have y'all seen text-to-speech? Have y'all seen, look, look at this shit. Look. The truth, you accept tip money to be abused by a bunch of fat dudes. Sound like a whore to me. Fuck it. Yeah, fuck you, asshole, all right? Fuck you. Abused by a bunch of fat dudes. Fuck off. And fuck you, bloodbath. Who is this bloodbath, asshole? 
Fuck you, bloodbath! Diffuser equals big fa- <laughs> Shut up, asshole. All right? Look, I need some aromatherapy, all right? I need shit. Look at what y'all do to my life. Look at what you all do to my show. Look at what y'all do, man. This is your fucking fault. It's your fucking fault, man. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Jesus fucking... I need some weed. I need some... I'm sorry, folks. I gotta break it all out right now. I'm sorry. You see how these dumbasses are being on text-to-speech. I mean, this is abuse. This is cyberbullying, for fuck's sake, man. I, I'm not even fucking around. Give me my goddamn... Give me my goddamn weed, for Christ's sake, man. Here, give me... Where's this... I got a new bag going on. This new bag's called Dirty Pussy, or some kind of variant. All right. Now listen to this. I'm going to break off some of the bud. Listen, 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 listen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And what is this? Sear your diffuser must smell bad after you take it out of your... I go, fuck you, asshole, all right? What do I got in here? I think I've got... Uh, what do I got in here? I have a little bit of uh, lavender mixed with eucalyptus. And the lavender and eucalyptus mixed together actually acts as a calming effect. It acts as a calming effect, and I can I can somewhat feel it now. What is this? Koe fin my f fuck you asshole. I'm not gonna say that. Jesus Christ. Anyway, folks, I'm gonna go ahead and smoke some tetrahydrocannabinol, some marijuana, some grass, some reefer, some poo smoke, and I'd like for everybody to please just fucking leave me the fuck alone. No donos for five minutes, okay? If there's no donos for five minutes, I'm staying. But if you idiots continue to bombard me with this bullshit, I'm out of here, all right? I'm out of here. So I'm smoking here. Everybody just leave me alone for five minutes, please. Leave me the fuck alone. Gotta, gotta hold it in and let it hit the brain, dude. Gotta hold it in and let it hit the brain. <laughs> what the hell is this ghost long lost bully I'll make you suck a wet fart out of your grandson's ass you fucking sick fuck don't talk about my family look I don't want to hear any more donos you dumb son of a bitch and please excuse me every time I take the first hit out of the tetrahydrocannabinol I've got look at this here you go, chat. This lazy oh, hippie boomer is a getting assholes. it. Gold is up by 0.09%. Stop 0 .09 trying to do my job! $1,491.40. Stop trying Silver to do is down my job, you asshole! Silver is down by 0.15% now at $17.79. Jesus Platinum Christ. Platinum is up by 1.87% now at $931.50. Silver is down by 0.15% now at $17.79. Platinum is up by 1.87% now at $931.50. Silver is down by 0.15% now at $917.80. Now at $921.80. Palladium is still at $1,780.70. Oh my God. And copper is up by 0.09% now at $2.60. Sixty-eight cents. Ah! And hey, why do I got a plane going over my house? Why do I got a fucking plane going over my house diffusing Ghost's shit funnel? Fuck you! All right. And who the hell just donated two bucks? Just leave, you greedy Jew! What the fuck does that mean? What the fuck does that mean? And then B Bloodbath versus Ghost, I win. Now, fuck you, Bloodbath. You've just been some stupid, annoying asshole that's been donating $2 bills and has been fucking annoying me, Bloodbath. So sit there and shut the fuck up and stop fanning your nuts thinking that you won some shit. All right? Shut up! I need another fucking tissue, for Christ's sake. I got a lot of mucus in here. All right? I got, I got a lot of mucus in here. Please excuse me, folks. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. I think I can breathe well. That's better. There we go. That's better. All right. All right. Please keep me away from your cocaine, baby, because I can breathe out of these nostrils now, baby. <laughs> Woo! Anyway, I'm just kidding about the cocaine, dude. I'm, I don't. I don't do yayo. I'm just kidding. I don't do yayo. Let me smoke here. 
All right. Five minutes. No text to speeches. Five minutes and I stay, okay? Five more minutes. I'm going to let the other ones slide here, these fucking assholes. I'm going to let them all slide here, okay? Uh, all I'm going to do is do me for five minutes, no more donos, and don't fuck with me in the chat room, and everything will be okay, all right? Everything will be all right. Give me some more beer, for Christ's sake. Ah, yeah. Oh, I love that aromatherapy, man. Ah, that eucalyptus with that lavender... It kind of settles down. It settles down the, uh, you know, the inflamed senses, for a lack of a better term, you know? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> God damn it! Cannabinoid-induced psychosis. This is no joke. Look it up. It gives you schizophrenic-like symptoms that may last for up to a month. No, don't give me that shit, all right? Let me tell you something. I'm getting... I, I am smoking tetrahydrocannabinol for medicinal purposes, okay? So don't sit here and try to make any kind of assumptions. And please stop donating, all right? Five minutes. I just need five minutes alone. The, the Jew kazoo? Who the hell donated that for two fucking dollars, man? <coughs> oh, God. Who the hell donated that for two dollars? The Jew kazoo. All right, dude, I don't know. I don't even know if I should continue. You know, this is... Dude, I don't know what... Ha There's, this is not my typical people that listen to my broadcast. Somebody posted my my live show somewhere. These are a bunch of sick-ass trolls that are doing this. And I'd like for you all to stop and leave me alone, okay? I had a very good show. I've got fucking production notes here that I wrote about fucking right here. And, you know, uh, we haven't even gotten around to any of it. And the reason is, is because these fucking guys are out here trying to make me look like some kind of a fucking asshole, trying to make me look stupid on text-to-speech. And I'm telling you, and I'm going to continue to tell you, this is why nobody wants to be interviewed on my broadcast. All right? I know, that's why nobody wants to be interviewed on my broadcast, because every time I ask, the first thing they write back and say, well, Ghost... Uh, we know that you are an underground legend, and we know that you're highly known throughout the internet community. But what's really unfortunate is that you have a very toxic community uh, that the people that we represent don't want to have anything to do with. Um, we understand that your community uh, does a lot of doxing. Uh, we understand that your community does a lot of uh, pizza sending and, and swatting and that sort of thing. And we really don't want to have that affiliated with our brand and our people. So uh, we're going to have to declare any kind of interview or any kind of connection with your toxic show. All right, th this is literally it. This is literally what I get every fucking time, all right? Every fucking time. Everybody's afraid of, everybody's afraid of you. They, they, you know, and they're afraid of me because of you. You know what I'm saying? Fucking toxic. A bunch of toxic fucking assholes. How does it like to be toxic, huh? How does it like to be toxic, for Christ's sake? Fucking sick asshole. Give me my smoke. Yeah, yeah. You know what, man? I can't believe you people, man. Make me You make me look like this on the internet, man. You make me look like I'm some fucking dangerous asshole because you people are... You, you're the one that's dangerous, not me. You people are the ones that are dangerous. I'm not. Well, I'll take that back. I did a few things, but it doesn't matter, all right? Nobody nobody knows about that. Nobody cares anymore, so it, it doesn't matter, all right? So anyway, without any further ado, let me go ahead and get some... You know what time it is, right? You know what time it is? More beer! Let's get another fucking beer, man. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be fucking drinking like a sailor, boy. I'm not even joking around, man. I mean, I, I'm going to fill myself up with piss and fury... And let me tell you something. I'm glad we're not getting any donos because I'm getting my energy levels up. I'm filling myself up with a little piss and fury. And let me tell you, I may just get through this goddamn show and show you fucking trolls you ain't shit. All right? You ain't shit and you can't break me, boy. All right? How you like that? <laughs> How you like some of that, boy? Huh? Yeah. All right. Now that I've got me some goddamn beer poured... Let's go ahead and get a shot going on, all right? Let's get a fucking shot now. 
I let me see. What should I do? What should I do? Some Chevis. I got I got a Chevis 15 blended malt scotch. Uh, let's go. Let's go with a Chevis. All right. Let's go with the blended malts here. Let's do this. All right. Here we go. Take it right out of the box, baby. How do you open this fucking box? All right. We got the box open. Here it is. Oh yeah. That's a pretty good looking bottle right there for Chevis, baby. This ain't your your typical Chevis here. Nice little box here. Not too bad. Uh, the official sponsors of the Manchester United. Oh, is that right? Oh, that's great. I don't fucking watch... I don't watch pussy-ass soccer, all right? Soccer is for people that take it up the ass. So, anyway, let me go ahead and... Uh, where's my shot glass? Here it is right there. All right, thank you very much. All right, let me open up this bottle. Brand new. Let me go ahead and tear this open. Brand new bottle, baby. There it is. All right, here we go. Brand new bottle. Let's go ahead and... Brand new bottle, just to let y'all know. Let's go ahead and pour it into the shot glass. Oh, whoa! Whoa, whoa. Talking about a triple shot, baby. Triple shot on that son of a bitch. Anyway, folks, uh, this is the beginning of a brand new Chivas Regal H15 Years blended scotch. Uh, it's pretty good stuff, dude. So let's see what uh, let's see what this is here. Uh, anyway, I want to say cheers to the real fans of the show. I'm not talking about all these assholes that have been text speeching me, trying to cyberbully me, trying to make me look stupid. I mean, I was this close. I, I'm still this close of leaving. But now that I'm drinking a little bit, now that I've got a little bit of tetrahydrocannabinol going through the system, all right, now that I'm about to take a shot, I feel a little better. And I'm telling you right now, I, I, I think I'm going to be able to continue going. I'm not going to let you fucking trolls break me, all right? All right. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm not going to let you trolls break me, all right? So anyway, cheers to everybody out there who's a true fan. And for all you troll terrorists and cyber vermin, uh, fucking get on your knees and clean my cock cheese, all right? Cheers, baby, cheers. Oh, man. I buy that for hey, $1. what the fuck? Didn't I just tell... What is this? Uh, Roloff Copter 100 High nightly reminder that you spend $4,000 too much on a computer that might be using OA OEM parts. Also, confirmed shill for Intel pre built. Go fuck off, asshole. All right. Don't make fun of my computer. You're just pissed because you don't have a computer as sophisto as the Corsair i160. All right. And I, I don't blame you, boy. I don't blame you. This is a pretty badass system. And, you know, my feelings would be hurt, too, if uh, if, 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 if I couldn't even touch a goddamn a Corsair I-160, boy. I don't blame you, boy. I don't blame you. Anyway, let me go ahead and uh, let me take a swig of it. What? What is this? Shout out and donation to the engineer. Look, leave the engineer alone, okay? All right? Leave the engine. Let, let me. Let me just. Just leave the engineer alone for Christ's sake. Everything's gonna be all right. The engineer's got a good relationship. I've told him what to do. He's. Just, he's been. You know. He's been quiet as of late, right? He's been quiet. So you know. He's doing his job. Don't encourage him to do anything mischievous. He loves his job. He wants his job. Leave him alone. Okay. Anyway, let me take another cheers to everybody out there who's listening. I definitely want to cheers the inner circle. And say, and, and look, I want to say, talking about the beginning, we were discussing the drama about Desi. Look, uh, Desi, there was no reason for you to leave. I mean, you know, if you're going to be talking garbage about people behind their backs, uh, the, the least you could do is say, yeah, I talked about you because I think that you're so and so and so and so. And at least have the balls to sit there and say it instead of running away and throwing your Asperger car down. All right. I'm serious. I'm not even joking around. I mean, we all know we, we found it. You, you know, you like to talk a lot of shit. You, you like to talk shit, especially in text chat. What is it with Aspies and autists in text chat? Do they get, like, braver or something? Are they trying to show off that they're truly articulate but not socially awkward? Because they... I, I don't get it. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't fucking understand what it is when it comes to autists and Aspergers when it comes to text chat. Do they get brave? Do they get balls? I have no idea. <laughs> anyway, I just want to say, Desi, you, you know, you're more than happy to come back, but uh, remember, uh, <clears throat> stop being such an Asperger, uh, you know, lack of sarcastic understanding, uh, moral, oral son of a bitch, all right? 
because that's really w- when he started to uh that's really when he started to talk garbage about yours truly he doesn't like the fact that i do the dateline trolls the dateline pranks the dateline goofs on the saturday night troll show he actually feels sorry he actually feels sad for the fucking broads that are on the the goddamn uh, uh, datelines that I'm sitting over here just goofing on. He's, he, he feels sorry for him. It's like, oh, why does Ghost have to do that? Why does Ghost have to do that? That's horrible. I don't think that's funny. I think that's mean. And I can't believe that he's doing that to a bunch of ladies. Who gives a shit? All right? These women that are on that dateline aren't paying one cent to be on there, Okay. It's me and other males that are actually paying. I, that's why I got to pay to be on the dateline, okay? So anyway, Desi, your uh, your Asperger's is showing. There was no reason for you to leave the inner circle after you got caught talking garbage and you know loose lips, you know all that shit. You know you're more than willing to come back, but uh, stop acting like a fucking old broad. All right, Jesus fucking Christ. All right, you got busted. People confronted you. Give me a break. What is this? RX if AMD is better than Intel. All right, go, whatever, whatever, all right? Anyway, let me move on. I, I just wanted to get that out of the way. Once again, more drama, more drama. Aside from the drama these damn trolls are inflicting on me today, you know, we had some drama in the inner circle because for whatever reason, uh, we had Desi, you know, who's, you know, Mr. Asperger, talking garbage about the inner circle and yours truly, and the inner circle confronted him about it last night and uh instead of saying yeah i said that about you because i think this and yeah i said this and they denied every everything denied it all they threw some proof in his face and then uh, the next day he's no longer a part of the inner circle he ran away he threw down his asperger card and said i'm retarded i'm out of here and that's that's all there is to it so you see what y'all did me magic with your cap to ban captain desi bullshit you see what y'all did you see what y'all did with the fucking little stupid meme magic bullshit? That's why I keep telling you guys, man. Do not do this. Do not, like, continuously harp on one subject because it, it, at some point it's going to come truth because of meme magic. All right? And, and basically, look, before this, okay, before him becoming a moral oral about the datelines and him feeling sorry about the women, he was, like, second-guessing his life and... Uh, you know, trying to figure out who he was after all of you trolls kept going at him. You kept, you know, throwing the ca- uh, type cap to band Captain Desi. It was getting, I'm not even joking, you can ask somebody that's in the inner circle, anybody in the inner circle, it was getting to him so bad that he was like trying to reevaluate his life and he was kind of depressed about it and all this shit. So we were trying to tell him, look, Desi, fucking stop talking to him, you know, stop doing this. And, you know, of course, he kept talking to you and kept talking to you. And, and as a result, uh, you know, he's in the situation that he's in. It's sad. You fucking people meme magic that shit, man. You know what I mean? You people meme magic that shit. And look, they're, they're, by, look at, they're typing cap now. Look at that. All right, they're, 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 t- they're typing cap now. Jesus Christ. Anyway, cheers to everybody out there who's listening. Let me go ahead and take a swig of some of this beer here. <sighs> Smelling some of that diffuser. You see that? The diffuser works, folks. I'm not joking around. You can call me a hippie. You can call me some new age bastard. I don't care what the hell. That The aromatherapy works, okay? I mixed a little bit of lavender with some eucalyptus. It's in the diffuser. Um, I can I can smell it. I can I can feel it. I'm actually intaking it through that capacity, and I'm feeling great. Desi should reevaluate his life by following the Smith and Wesson retirement. Oh, plan. dude, no, we're not. No, we're not condoning anything like that, Tim McCrav. Come on, dude, that is horrible. No, we don't want anything like that to happen to Captain Desi. We want the best for Captain Desi. We just don't want him to act like a fucking you know Asperger tard that doesn't want to take responsibility for shit that he does. That's all. All right. There's no need to say anything like that. That's horrible, man. Come on. Tim McCrav, come on, dude. Good Lord. All right, look. I I don't know where I am right now. I want to be honest with you. I don't know if I should continue on with the show. I should end the show. This has been a very horrible show. I I can't believe that you people have got me riled up and wasted my fucking time. I've already been on for two hours. And the whole fucking two hours, I've been bitching at you fucking assholes, and you've been fucking antagonizing me. 
So, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I should continue the broadcast. I don't know if I should just take a break, come back on Wednesday, Halloween Eve, and see what the fuck's going on. I don't know, man, but I sincerely don't like the direction the show went today at all. All I, I, I sincerely don't like the way it went, and I really don't appreciate that all you people are causing this type of fucking burden on me when I'm just a fucking guy trying to do... What the fuck? It stopped? Why did it stop? Hold on, the diffuser stopped, folks. What the fuck, man? I gotta, I gotta put, I gotta put more fucking water and oil in it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Christ. And what is this, Seer? Autists act out because they get attention. You just need to slap them and tell them to cut it out. That's really what they fucking need. You know what I mean? I mean, that's really what they fucking need. I'm tired of pussy pampering a bunch of autists and Aspergers. You know, they just need a couple of slaps in the mouth and say, Hey, Billy, stop acting like a tard. And they'll eventually stop acting like a tart. You know? I'm just saying. Then eventually they'll stop. All right? I'm just saying. I mean, I'm, t I'm tired of all these fucking people treating these autists and aspies with kid gloves. They just need to slap them around. You know what I mean? You know what I would do? I'll tell you what I would do, all right? I, I would be probably, I don't know, I don't even probably know if I could even get away with this shit. Because, I mean, now you've got these aspies and autists that can now call 911 and say, Oh, my God. I'm getting, I'm getting hit by my father. I'm getting hit by my father because my father thinks I'm an artist. And I, I, all I want to do is write, write nice stories. And all I want to do is, is watch My Little Pony and all this other shit. But you know what I think should happen? I'm going to tell you what I think should happen to these fucking goddamn stupid autists and these fucking Asperger's. I'm going to tell you what I think this should happen. Give, give me my belt. Give me my fucking... Give me the fucking belt, for Christ's sake. I'll show you. I'll show you what I think should happen to Asperger's and autists. Here. Here. Fucking piece of shit. Here. Here. You're goddamn right. You take him a fucking trip to the damn woodshed. All right? And you say, oh, yeah, you want to be autist? You want to be an Aspie? Here. Here. Take some of this. Come on. Here. 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 Fucking goddamn want this ass me. Yeah! Yeah! I ain't made a man of you yet, boy. Yeah! 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 That's what these fucking autists and Aspergers need. If you want to know what I think, all right. That's what these Aspies and Osberger motherfuckers need. If you want to know what I think, fucking goddammit, do you understand? Do you hear what I'm saying? Yeah! 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 Fucking. Uh! Uh! I ain't made a man of you yet, boy. I ain't made a man of you yet, boy. Yeah! Fucking autist. Yeah! Yeah! Fucking Aspie! Yeah! Uh! And then after you give them a good trip to the woodshed, you ask them, Are you still autist? Are you still an Asperger? Huh? Are you still autist? Are you still Asperger? And if they say, Oh, uh, yeah. You fucking keep going. You, you, you throw them back in the goddamn woodshed and you fucking... Ah! Ah! Son of a... Ah! Son of a bitch. That's what these goddamn autists need. That's what these Aspergers need, boy. And that's what we're missing in today's America. We're missing men that'll go out there and take these boys to the woodshed. All right? And make a man out of these motherfuckers instead of making them into a bunch of soy boy fruit bowls that can just throw their I'm retarded card down on the table and not be responsible for their damn responsibilities. Bullshit. All right, bullshit. That's what I think that should happen to autists and Aspergers. All right, trips to the woodshed. That's what I fucking think, boy. Give me my goddamn drink. All right. And let me tell you, I think the law should stay out of the parents' business, all right? Stay out of the business, all right? If I want to whip my kid's ass, I'm going to whip my kid's ass, all right? Son of a bitch. Give me my drink. 
when we were whipping our kids' asses, you didn't see the kind of felonious bullshit that you see out here, the, the kind of juvenile delinquency that you see out here. You don't see that shit. You didn't see that in my day. I'll tell you that right goddamn now. You didn't see that in my day. Here, my goddamn drink. <sighs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, people like somebody saying beating kids is a good thing that builds character. You're damn right, it builds character. It builds some goddamn character. Uh, they they won't be autists or Aspies for anymore. I'll tell you that they won't. They won't have the privilege to be that shit. All right. They won't have the privilege to be an Asperger or an autist. I'll tell you that right goddamn now. And hide under mommy's skirt until they're 35 years old. We need to we need to bring back Belton. You understand? We need to bring back whipping kids' asses. That's what we need to. All right? That's all there is to it. What is this? Type hail Kokler if you want ghosts to quit and shut up. What? Also, I squirted when you were spanking your granny just now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my God! Is that the real Amy Daly too? Buy that for a dollar. I didn't realize you could squirt after you have the sex change. What well, was a seer? Autism is also scam, so parents can get money from the government. Uh, I I tend to believe that to a certain extent. I mean, I do believe that there's kids that are severely mentally handicapped. You know, there's some autist in the so-called spectrum that really can't they can't do anything. That you know they. They can't talk. I mean, they're kind of they're kind of spastic. They can't control themselves. You know, the only way they know how to talk is by grunting and shit. Like, nah, 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 nah. You know, shit like that. So, I mean, I get that, but those aren't autistic kids. Those are mentally retarded kids. Can we just get down to the point? These are mentally retarded kids. Okay. I mean, if you're a so-called autist and you can get on the internet and you're very aware of yourself on the internet, you know things on the internet, you, <laughs> that's that not autism, all right? All right, autists and retarded people wouldn't be able to know how to do that. And what is this? Oh, yes, keep whipping me with your belt. I'm about to coom. You fucking sick bastard. Do you think that if Trump had gotten more beatings by his dad that he'd have turned out less retarded? You son of a bitch. Trump is the modern-day George Washington evil, Mira. You're just some leftist piece of trash that hates your country. You understand? And I would... Uh, you know what You know what I think this comes down to? It comes down to folks that, you know, just want to see the country destroyed because they are insignificant nothings to the contribution of the society itself. You know, these are the people that hate their country. These folks that are collecting entitlements. These folks that are, you know, that, that, that think that we should have open borders... You know, these, these, these folks that uh, think that people that come into this country illegally should have free health care and welfare and all this other shit. I mean, this is hating your country. And that's what the Democrats do. They hate their fucking country. And I don't understand why anybody could be a Democrat in modern day America when that's the basis of being a Democrat is hating your country. I mean, how can you think that you should have open borders? and still think that you're a representative of the American people. How in the hell can you sit here and suggest that illegal immigrants that come into this country illegally should have free health care and free welfare and free schooling and all this other bullshit? I'm telling you this right now, folks. This is what Trump meant when he talked about making America great again, boy. Hey, ghost. Just got off work. Yeah. Real question. What? Have you ever tried chewing tobacco? Yes, it Also, sucks. if you want to try a cigar, I suggest Swisher Sweet or Cheyenne cigars man, since I would buy some from bullshit, time to time dude. when I am relaxing on my days off. Anyways, no offense. cheers hey, and Genova GX. Wolf, that's some pretty cheap bullshit, dude. Swisher Sweets, that you know, that's bullshit. Nigger. And I don't condone what the hell this idiot just said, this fucking racist bastard, all right? But Genova Wolf, first of all, uh, I think that uh, chewing tobacco is horrible. I think it sucks. And secondly, uh, I don't smoke like Swishers or, f you know, Phillies or, or any of these so-called uh, mainstream cigars, which are nothing more than machine-made bullshit. I get the stuff that has been hand-rolled, hand-created, hand-crafted, hand-made. Uh, I get the stuff that's fully well-blended. Uh, I like a Nicaraguan filler. Uh, I like the wrapper to be a... Uh, 
to be honest with you, actually, some of my favorite rappers are a little bit more on the full-bodied side, but untraditional. For instance, I do like Cameroon rappers. Uh, I do like uh, Maduro rappers. Uh, I do like, uh, you know, uh, Sumatra. Sumatra aren't too bad. So, you know, I mean, I, I like seagulls, okay? Ghost, for your fans and for your peace of mind, please, please cut the text to speech off at least during the markets. <laughs> we need a portion of the show that is troll free. Also, Trump 2020 and 2024 because term limits is no excuse. Yeah, yeah, you're damn right, dude. I'm not even joking around. Trump 2020 is right. And what is this for two bucks? Chat wants radio graffiti. When are you going to quit being boring? Well, the, wait, why are you here if I'm fucking boring, you dickhead? Huh? I'm fucking tired of you people. They're like, yeah, you're fucking boring, ghost. I don't want to fucking hear you. Uh, ha, 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 you're a fucking asshole. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, I don't want to hear you. You're fucking boring, ghost. Ha, 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 ha. Jesus fucking Christ. Anyway, people want me to get to the markets. Let's go ahead and get to the markets, okay? Let's go ahead and get to the markets. Because, I mean, I think we need to talk about the markets first and foremost. All right? Now, let me tell you what's going on with the markets, folks. The reason we're seeing a little bit of uptick is because of the optimism of the Chinese-U.S. trade deal, okay? I mean, that and a few stocks that may allow some of these Wall Street investors to feel funny in the pants. I don't know if y'all saw Alphabet, which is the offshoot of Google's, uh, I think, what is it, a sister uh, corporation or something? It tanked. Amazon recently put out its numbers. It tanked. Uh, there's a lot of bad news coming out of the stock market's uh, earnings reports, and yet we're not seeing it completely reflective in the stock market itself, in general, okay? So this is a very weird stock market. As I've stated, if you're a day trader, this is a day trader stock market. If you have the opportunity to day trade, the swings that we're seeing on a daily basis, liquidity can be made all day, all night in this just nonstop volatile market here. It's, it's something that I've never seen before. And I've been trading on this market for decades, for decades. So let's go ahead and get to the Dow Jones Industrial. It is up today 132.66 points, a percentage increase of 0.49%. Uh, closing out Dow Jones at 27,090.72 points for the Dow Jones Industrial. So we just barely creeped up over 27,000 again. But please be careful, folks. I'm telling you, everybody in Wall Street is calling it. The big wigs are calling it. All right. Jamie Dimon, CEO for uh, uh, Chase Manhattan. It's for Chase, right? That's, that's who, and J Jamie Dimon says that there's a, an impending recession and contraction. We didn't start the fire. It was always burning since the world's been turning. Ghost started the fire. Yes, the IC did light it, but uh, we tried to fight it. Ghost off. started the fire. Ghost and the IC started the fire. <sighs> Whatever, asshole. All right, let's get to the S&P 500. And be honest, folks, today, the S&P 500 hit an all-time high. So once again, underscoring what kind of Trump economy we're living in. I don't understand why people are bitching. I have no idea why people are bitching, for Christ's sake, man. There are more jobs in America than there are people looking for jobs. The wages have increased by themselves. There has been no government attempt to increase wages outside of the investments that have been coming to the United States by Trump's pure will. And not to mention the tax, uh, uh, the tax cuts and the repeal of the Obamacare mandate, which was really, really huge, by the way. And uh, Ghost Markets Lullaby, fuck you. That's why here in the next 10 years, you're going to be on your knees, shining capitalist shoes while we're out here making money moves. You understand what I'm saying? All right, so just sit there and spit <laughs> shine that shoe, boy. And look at this, ZZZ. Look, if you don't like the markets, then go piss off, asshole, all right? Then go piss off. As I was stating, S&P all-time high hit today. So let's go ahead and see what the S&P is looking like. S&P 500 is up 16.87 points, a percentage increase of 0.56%, closing out the S&P at 3,039.42 points for the S&P 500. We've got the NASDAQ. It's also up today for some reason. I guess the optimism of the uh, all-time high for the S&P. 
but it was up 82.87 points. A percentage increase of 1.01%, closing out the NASDAQ at 8,325.98 points for the NASDAQ composite. Let's go ahead and get to some commodities since we're uh, conducting ourselves in the markets. Let's go to energy. Now, once again, folks, energy is something to be looking at considering we're having all kinds of confrontations in the Middle East, specifically among oil-producing nations. So take a look at this. Once again, WTI Sweet Crude, it is down today, 15 cents, a percentage decrease of 0.27%, closing out WTI at $55.66 per barrel of WTI Sweet Crude. Uh, we've got Brent crude. It's also down today, $0.09, cents, a percentage decrease of 0.15%, closing out Brent crude at $61.48 per barrel of Brent crude oil. We've got gasoline down modestly, 0.04%. Natural gas is up 0.37%, and heating oil is down 0.05%. Let's go ahead and get to the metals, shall we? The metals! Let's get to the goddamn metals. All right, let's go ahead, and we've got gold. Gold is down a buck, uh, down 0.07%. Current price for gold is $1,494.80 per troy ounce of gold. Buy that for a dollar. What is this? Nobody cares. Yeah, fuck you, nobody cares, all right? And you suck my schlong head, all right? You suck my schlong head, you son of a bitch. Anyway, we've got uh, silver. It is down five cents, a percentage decrease of 0.29%. Current price for silver is $17.83 per troy ounce of silver. We've got copper down 0.22%. Platinum is down 0.54%. Let's go ahead and get to agriculture, shall we, folks? The grains... Corn is down 0.07%. Wheat is up 0.10%. Excuse me. Oats is down 0.51%. Rough rice is down 0.30%. Soybean is down 0.05%. Soybean oil is down 0.03%. And canola is down 0.04%. And look, all of you people in the chat room putting ZZZ, fuck you, okay? That's what you were doing to me early. If you don't like this shit, then get the fuck out of here there, fucking asshole. All right, let's get to cocoa, the base for chocolate. It is up 0.85%. Coffee is up 1.06%. Sugar! Sugar is up 1.54%. Orange juice continues its demise. It is down 3.01%. 3.01% down on orange juice. Uh, cotton is up 0.77%. Lumber is down 0.67%. Uh, we got rubber is up 0.12%. And ethanol is down 0.12, excuse me, 1.25% for ethanol. Jesus shit. All right, please excuse me. Anyway, let's get to livestock. Live cattle is up 0.45%. Cattle feeder is unchanged on the day. And lean hog, folks, it is up 1.12% on the day for lean hogs. And what is this? Guys, Alex Jones is on. Type AJ Fuck for the you. real talent. Fuck off. Alex Jones can suck my schlong. Anyway, folks, let me get to some cryptocurrency coverage here because I want everybody to understand what has happened. What has happened here is we have a big influx in crypto. Remember the last time I covered cryptocurrency and I said that we saw a major contraction that this is the time to come in and try to accumulate cryptocurrencies for Christ's sake? Well, I hope that you listen because by God, we had a major increase as of late. Why? Because the Chinese president is opening up his oh, economic I horizons into blockchain dollar. technology. All right? And what is this? Coomed. Uh, what do you think of uh, leveraged gold ETFs uh, like uh, double bull or triple bull? Well, that's how you invest into commodities, dude. You use ETFs as a means of an equity play into commodities. Unless you're actually trading contracts, which you have to have tens of thousands of dollars 
actually a little more i think you have to have hundreds of thousands of dollars to be able to trade contracts and actually make money but to make moves on uh agrarian or or other types of commodities etf plays is where you want to go and if you think that the commodities are going to go up in value well you want an etf that coincides with the increase in commodities that you're investing in or if you think they're going to go down there's etfs that you can invest into that you can profit from the decrease of commodities or any other uh, ETF play. So it's very interesting. M make sure to research your ETFs before you invest in them, uh, but not bad plays to make uh, on commodities, all right? Anyway, let's go ahead and get to the market cap of the entire cryptocurrency market. Uh, the market capitalization is $248 billion market capitalization. Now, I don't know if y'all remember the last time I covered Bitcoin. Bitcoin went down as low as $7,100, and that was about a week and a half ago, maybe a week ago. Uh, folks, let's take a look at Bitcoin now. BTC is the symbol. Uh, it is down right now, though, 3.43%, but the current price for Bitcoin, $9,336.97 per Bitcoin. Now, as I stated, folks, the reason we saw a tremendous increase into the cryptocurrency markets is because China is now opening itself up. It's now opening itself up to a new horizon and now embracing the blockchain technology. So let's move on. We've got Ethereum. All right. It also increased dramatically. ETH is the symbol. It is down currently 0.58%, but the current price for Ethereum is $184 and 48 cents per ethereum uh xrp did a dramatic increase as well that is uh better known as ripple uh xrp it is down right now 1.10 percent current price for xrp is 29 cents per xrp let's go to bitcoin cash bch now this is a variant as well as other bitcoin variants that are trying to take over the king of being crypto because we all know the, you know, that Bitcoin is widely accepted, it is the most accepted cryptocurrency in the world, uh, but there's definitely technological limitations, and that's why you have all these other Bitcoin variants. Uh, BCH is the symbol for Bitcoin Cash. It is actually up. It is actually up 4.59%. Current price for Bitcoin Cash is $277.43 per Bitcoin Cash. Uh, we've got Litecoin. LTC is the coin. Uh, it is down 1.07%. Uh, current price for LTC, Litecoin, $59.49 per Litecoin. Uh, let's continue. We've got Bitcoin SV, uh, which is supposed to have an aspect of proprietary because apparently the person that is supposed to be Satoshi, the guy who created Bitcoin, is supposedly involved in this. This, of course, is the Australian guy that claims to be Satoshi. Uh, he has since copyrighted or trademarked uh, the code of Bitcoin SV, which is making it somewhat proprietary, which is why you had a lot of investors hop on the bandwagon on this thing. Uh, BSV is the uh, symbol for Bitcoin SV. Uh, it is down right now 0.76%. Uh, current price for Bitcoin SV is $140 and 13 cents per bitcoin sv uh monero uh once again the only reason i cover monero is because it's a privacy <laughs> coin a hey fuck you man don't tell me to hurry to fuck up all right this is my show here you dick <laughs> fucking hurry I'd up and hey, what dollar. is this uh coom uh, china game the crypto market hardcore they knew bitcoin would surge after the announcement of course but they're in a bad situation remember they need Bitcoin to be inflated again to about $20,000, $30,000. Remember, many of the Bitcoin that were mine... What about Dogecoin? Fuck Dogecoin, you fucking dumbass. Lest we forget that much of the Bitcoin that was mined from 2010 to now was mined by China. I mean, did y'all see the YouTube videos of these fucking huge ass warehouses that are football fields big of machines that were mining Bitcoin, for Christ's sake. So this is why they're trying to pump the Bitcoin market up because they, the Chinese government is holding Bitcoin. 
Okay, and they needed to raise a hell of a lot more than they're raising it now to offset the losses that they're taking because of the renegotiation of the United States-China trade deal. Now, lest we forget that Trump is hitting up China with a lot of tariffs. And for the first time in a long time, at least 100 years, we're making money through tariffing goods that are coming in from China, and we're making billions of dollars doing so. Now, the reason the Chinese are being tariffed is because they don't want to renegotiate this trade deal. And for whatever reason, they're willing to take a hardline approach. I mean, lest we forget, I mean, this is the same Chinese government that allowed, what was it, 25, 30 million people to starve to death during the Great Leap Forward. And then, you know, allowed another 25 million people to kill each other during the the Cultural Revolution. So... I don't pay you to take your time. Hurry the fuck up, Hambone. Fuck you, asshole! All right? Fucking shooting pearls at your asses again, and you don't give a shit, so just shut up! So now that the Chinese are saying, hey, look... Uh, you know, we're going to go ahead and try to entertain the fact that we're going to be open for blockchain. They need the inflated prices of 2017. Remember, $20,000 Bitcoin price? Because they have a whole bunch of them in their possession. They need things to offset the losses that they're incurring from the tariffs that are being enforced by the United States. And they're trying to take it on the teeth. They're trying to say that they'll hold steadfast but they're doing some very desperate things, in my opinion, because of the renegotiation of the trade deal. Hey man, take your time. Also on the cigars part of no offense. Hey, it's all good, my dude. Yeah, I hear Swisher you, dude. sweets are pretty good, but I still respect your opinion, man. Also on chewing tobacco, yes. It's fucking yeah, garbage. It's, it's garbage. Shit made dude. my mouth feel like it was on fire. Yeah, I, I would never encourage anybody to chew tobacco in any regard. But I do encourage people to smoke cigars that are hand-rolled and are hand-created. No machine-rolled shit. Um, Pure hand-rolled stuff. Anyway, thank you very much, Genova Wolf, and thank you for understanding, man. But as I was stating, folks, China is desperate right now. That's Why do you think they're trying to impose themselves on Hong Kong? The reason they want to impose themselves on Hong Kong is because Hong Kong is a literal laissez-faire capitalist province. All right, when the Brits had control of Hong Kong, they just let the Hong Kongese do whatever the fuck they want. They let these people of Hong Kong do whatever they want, and the folks of Hong Kong created a capitalist society out of literally nothing. I mean, have you taken a look at Hong Kong? It's a bunch of rocky mountains, literally in an ocean, okay? And they took these uh, rocky mountains in an ocean and made it one of the richest fucking places to be in the world with laissez-faire capitalism. Now, the reason the Chinese want to impose their communist law now on the uh, Hong Kong is because they want to just put trumped up charges, no pun intended, they want to put trumped up charges on many of the billionaires that are in Hong Kong. And this is what this this extradition bill was about. Um, This is what caused the Hong Kong protest was the fact that China wanted to extradite... All right, whatever. Uh, They wanted to extradite folks from Hong Kong that were charged with Chinese crimes. And the reason they wanted to do that is so that they can arrest many of the billionaires. Because there's a lot of billionaires in Hong Kong. Arrest the billionaires and just completely uh, take over their billions of dollars and put it into the bank account of the communist government. So it is what it is. This is why the Chinese are doing whatever they're doing and especially opening themselves up for blockchain technology. So anyway, Gavin Newsom, what do you think about uh, asking Warren Buffett to bail out uh, PG&E? Also, uh, people wanting to recall Newsom. Well, hey... California, you get what you get, okay? You wanted some ultra-liberal asshole that cares more about giving your goddamn state funds to illegal immigrants and their welfare and their health care and all this other bullshit. I mean, this is what's going to happen to you. And and, and for, uh, for a state to call on somebody like Warren Buffett to save the fucking uh, electrical grid out there only underscores the fact that when you grow government so much that it doesn't matter how much money your your government makes, 
if the government is too big, it's not going to go anywhere. It's going to be stagnant. Do you know that California, their GDP, the state itself, is richer than most countries in the world? And yet they're having this kind of problem with their electrical grid. And yet they're having this type of problem with their water systems. And they're having this type of problem with all kinds of shit. Why? Because these assholes have raised state taxes, municipal taxes out the ass. And all these taxes are already allocated to all kinds of bureaucrats' salaries, all kinds of bureaucrats' uh, uh, retirement funds, and all this other bullshit. Meanwhile, basic services that what government was intended to to provide they're falling to shit because there's nothing funding them all right i mean look look at newsom i mean he already wrote in a fucking law allowing any goddamn illegal to come into california to become an automatic citizen i mean you've got a problem in the school system out there in california when you got more illegal immigrants going to public school than actual american citizens And who's paying for all that? Who's paying for the extra faculty to learn these people's languages and try to relay information in these people's languages? You know, who the hell is funding all this stupid bullshit to give free health care to illegal immigrants and shit like that? So in my personal opinion, folks, I think that California gets what it deserves. And I hope California burns, in my opinion, because they're pieces of shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, hey, you know what? You can call me an asshole all you want to, but these people are fucking useless eaters, all right? They're pieces of trash, and that's why many of them are leaving. That's why you motherfuckers out there in California are leaving, and you're trying to infect other parts of the country with your liberal bullshit, but we ain't taking that liberal bullshit. So anyway, let's move on. All right, let's move on. We've got, uh, I, like, I'm, I'm done, dude. I'm, I'm already done. Nobody gives a shit. Nobody gives a shit about what I'm saying about any of this crap anyway. All right? This has been a horrible fucking show as far as I'm concerned. And to be honest, I think I should just fucking end this shit early, dude. I mean, I, I should just fucking end this shit early because I had a whole fucking, um, a whole bunch of shit, like fucking production notes. All right? And nobody's fucking listening. Nobody fucking cares. Look at this. Lazy boomer. Look at that. Oh, come on, ghost. Oh, yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Look at this shit. Look at this shit, man. The whole fucking show's been like this, man. The whole episode 113 has been like this. You know what? I shouldn't have even fucking named the damn show More Drama, More Drama. Because I'm, I, I'm starting to think that maybe... Just maybe you assholes are over here wanting to induce most of this fucking drama. Oh, God. I need another beer for Christ's sake, man. Shut up. I'm not fucking crying, asshole. All right? I need some more beer for Christ's sake, man. I need more beer, man. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my god, I'm fucking, I'm out, I'm out of it, dude. Yeah, it, yeah, no shit metaphor. This is a fucking Obama Monday. This is a carpet munching Obama Monday. If I've ever heard one in my fucking life. All right, I'm too slow. I'm too slow. Fuck you, you fucking. I'm too slow. All right, what are you talking? About? I'm sharp, baby. I'm sharp. You come at me, I fucking snap right back at you, make it look lower than a fucking leprechaun's nutsack. I'm fucking sharp. What the hell are you talking about? Fucking too slow, you son of a bitch. Got some goddamn beer up in here. It's the only way I can continue this broadcast. You know what I mean? It's the only way I can do this damn broad. And don't, and fuck you. Fuck you people that are for forum shoutouts, all right? You fucking people are dickheads. You know what? I'm not, I'm not doing forum shoutouts. You go fuck yourselves. I like that shit. I'm not even joking around. You people are the biggest dickheads. I, I, I regret even doing forum shoutouts. I'm not even fucking around. You people are the biggest jerks that I have ever come across in my fucking life. All right? I'm not even kidding. All right? And what is this, Coombed? What do you think of the weekly repo... Re, what is it? Re, weekly repo operations by the Fed? What the fuck are you talking about? Are you talking about them infusing money? Are you talking about them infusing the banks with capital? Is that what you're talking about? Well, you know, it is what it is. What are you going to do about it? That's why you need to go out there, make the money for your own, and and put that into hard assets. You understand? 
That's what you got to do. That's what I'm doing. That's what the fuck I'm doing for Christ's sake. I just bought this badass place with some land on it, and I paid I paid Butkus for it because some fucking idiot killed himself and his wife or something here. And I don't really give a shit about that. I'm actually in the room where the supposed murder suicide happened, and I don't I don't feel nothing. I don't feel nothing. And what is this? My oil smells like hum. You. F- Listen, stop fucking making me say dumb shit, dude. Seriously. Stop making me say this dumb fucking shit. And shut up. I don't fucking live in a trailer. Are you kidding me? You know, my God doesn't give a shit about, you know, fucking hauntings and shit like that. So I don't, I don't ever get haunted much. All right? Uh, yeah, sometimes, you know, things move that aren't supposed to move and dumb shit like that. But that's no big deal. That's not a big fucking deal. You know what I mean? I don't believe in hauntings or any of that shit. As a matter of fact, uh, ghosts or haunted spirits of this room, if there's any energy left from the murder-suicide that happened in this room, can you please come out? Come out, come out wherever you are, please. Come on, I'm extending my hand. Hold on, I don't have a rubber glove on him. Here. I'm extending my hand with some paper on it. Please, let's join hands and let's communicate with one another. And of course, nothing happens, all right? <laughs> nothing happens, all right? Anyway, let me go ahead and smoke. I'm not smoke. Let me drink this, excuse me. Oh my God. I'm not joking about. Where are you? Where are you? Get the Ouija board out. Dude, the Ouija board doesn't work. The Ouija board's a joke, all right? You know what I like about the Ouija board? Uh, it's like good decor. You know, it's like good art decor. I actually like real dark shit. You know, if y'all ever fucking saw my house, it's really real fucking a lot of dark shit. I got like skulls everywhere. I've got the Ouija board prominent. And I'm talking like the old Ouija board. I'm talking like one from like the fucking 1800s. You know, I've got like fucking, I've got real like, I like that dark shit. It's, it's cool. It's, you know, it's reflective on my mortality. You know what I'm saying? And there's nothing... I'm not being an edge lord, you fucking idiot. What are you talking about? I'm not being a fucking edge lord. I'm just saying. I mean, that's just... I like that style, man. I like, uh, like fucking wicked statues and shit and real wicked paintings, you know? I like fucking... I like shit that's going to conjure up emotion. You know, when any, whenever anybody comes into my house, I want them to feel very uncomfortable, you know? I want them to come in and be like, oh my God. Oh shit, is that a fucking Ouija board? There's fucking skulls everywhere. You know, I want them to fucking... I want them to feel... You got it wrong, guys. What? Ghost actually lives in a Southern Pacific caboose with Ocasio-Cortez internet. A Southern Pacific caboose. That doesn't sound too bad. It's, it just depends on what the digs look like inside, right? Huh? You know, if I can get a little caboose going on, you know what I mean? Maybe like you, you can fucking retrofit that shit with all the fucking amenities and shit. What are you talking about? Isn't that, isn't that what they're doing now? Fucking getting a caboose, getting a fucking old airplane and shit. Anyway, I like I like people to be scared, you know, when they come into my home. I want them to feel powerless. I want them to feel like they're under the there's a, there's a lot of bad energy. I want them I want them to feel bad energy when they come into my home. And then once they they come into my home, I want them to feel okay. So the first thing that I do is offer them alcoholic beverages, you know? And then once they consume alcoholic beverages, everything's okay. You know what I'm saying? It's all right. You know, it's fucking. We're 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 fucking living it up. You know, we're we're appreciating. We're appreciating our mortality. You know, it is what it is. You know, it's it's. I I like it. Okay, I like it. I I like smelling people's fear. I, I like feeling people's fear. So, anyway, I'd like shut up. All right, everybody, just shut the fuck up. I'm not date raping anybody or any of that shit. You stupid idiot. I'm married, you idiot. <laughs> What is this? Your home decor reminds me of the Pizzagate. What? Fuck you, you fucking idiot. The fucking Pizzagate people. Fuck you. Jesus fucking Christ. Who the hell fucking two bucks? I'm so fucking retarded. Fuck you, asshole. Fuck you. And look, the, the damn diffuser is telling me it needs a reload. I'll get, I'll get a reload in a minute. But Jesus fucking Christ, man. All right. Uh, listen, uh, look, I'm not out here 
Look, it doesn't matter. I don't even know why I admitted this. You know, every time I let you in a little bit into my life, you fucking people make judgment calls about who the fuck I am and shit. You know what I mean? I'm sitting over here. I'm just telling you, I like a little bit of darkness. I got, I got like fucking Ouija boards and weird statues and, you know, and fucking, fucking, I got, uh, I, I, I got, uh, I don't, I don't want to fuck. I got like skulls all over the place and, you know, fucking goat heads and shit. You know what I mean? So. Anyway, they're not goat heads. I think they're antelope, but they got the big, they got the big fucking long, they're like a, it's a, it's like an antelope skull, but they got big fucking long horns and shit all over the place. I like that shit. I like that shit. You know, you, know, you want to know why it, it just, it, it, it just brings me down to the moral principle of my mortality. You know, my mortality is just around the corner. And once you recognize <laughs> that death is inevitable, dollar. what else is there to be afraid of? And what is this? Fat man, 1945, ghost is my husband. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Give me a fucking <laughs> break. And what is this? Bi dollar. Ghost is Bill Sykes. I stand corrected. Ghost is like Sykes cause he's a dangerous man. Fagans is more like Jackler. What prancing the hell around are you with talking the internet about? urchins singing gay songs. What the hell are you fucking talking about, for Christ's sake? Go, wait, Ghost Testa spirit cooking? Go Testa spirit cooking. Give me a fucking break. I don't do spirit cooking, dude, all right? My God doesn't give a shit about spirit cooking, so, you know, it is what it is. And what is this, Steven Tyler, stop stealing my home decor ideas? What are you talking about, man? These are my ideas. These are, these are, this is what I bought. All right? this, is, this is what I've got, for Christ's sake, all right? I've got fucking pyramids also. A lot of geometric shapes emphasized within my home decor. You know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of geometric shapes. The, the sacred pyramid is de definitely highly emphasized. And uh, let me tell you something. If y'all don't know, y'all don't understand the secrets behind the sacred pyramid, you don't know shit. You don't know shit from Shinola. You know, I've tried to tell you secrets about stuff like this, but, you know, you motherfuckers don't even want to... You don't even want to talk about it. You don't even want to discuss it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying, you know, the pyramid is very sacred. It is a sacred geometric shape, okay? That's right, the sacred pyramid. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to get into it because none of you people would even understand it if I did. You would just sit here and say, ah, oh, whatever, ghost. <laughs> You're just being an edgelord, dude. <laughs> You're just being an edgelord, man. I don't fucking believe you, ghost. You're fucking lying, dude. I, I, yeah, you're fucking lying. I know you're lying. Jesus Christ. And I'm not an NWO shill, you shithead. You see, that's what I don't understand. What makes you believe that the NWO or... <laughs> the Masons or whoever you believe that is in charge of this whole realm that we are in. What makes you think that these symbols and, you know, a lot of this alchemy and a lot of this magic is exclusive to them? What makes you think that this is only exclusive to them? I mean, what have I told you about the basis of magic to begin with? You have to understand that the, our very existence is magic. The fact that mankind has conquered his destiny from nature proves that we're all magicians if we put our mind to it. Do you understand? I mean, as I stated, if we go back to primitive man, when man was amongst the animals, was amongst the jungle, what was mankind? Nothing more than a part of the food chain. The, nature's destiny for mankind was to be eaten by one of the many animals or uh, to be, uh, I don't know, eaten by worms, maggots, whatever. I mean, the whole process of death and decomposition was supposed to happen to humanity. We were nothing more than nature's destiny to be one of many of the other animals that live and die in the jungle. But then... Mankind not only became self-aware, not only did mankind become self-aware, but became self-aware that man can change the destiny that nature put forth for mankind. We have conquered nature, okay? What is this? Hey, quit putting the heads of my relatives in your home, you fucking hambone.
Oh, shut up, asshole. All right, can you please just shut up, all right? Jesus Christ. After I watched that dragon on InfoWars, I realized Ghost was right. I told you. Alex Jones is ripping him off. I've been saying Alex it, Alex Jones is a pathetic piece of shit from ripping off a crippled Vietnam vet living in a camper hey, trailer wait with a brain minute. damage. Just shut up. I'm not living in a fucking camper trailer. I don't have brain damage, all right? And what is this? The weed makes me guy. Fuck off, asshole, all right? But think about that just for a second, folks, okay? Mankind is unlike any other living organism on this planet. We have the ability... All right, what is this? Coomed? Mankind isn't magic? It's a mistake? Well, I beg to differ with you there, idiot. All right, because mankind redefined the destiny that nature had put forth for him. And the destiny was to be one of the many of the food chain. We were probably supposed to be food for any one of the animals in the jungle. And yet mankind not only became self-aware, but understood that the self-awareness could redefine the destiny that nature put forth for him. And that, my friends, is the foundation, the very first grade of magic. The first degree, you know what I'm saying? You know how the dumb, ma well, I shouldn't say the dumb masons, excuse me. The masons, you notice how the masons use, you know, degrees. You know, you're at the first degree once you enter into masonry, and then you got to be there for a few years, and then you grow. And then, you know, at some point when they call you worshipful master after serving the masons for 20 years, uh, you become worshipful master and you're at the 32 or 33rd degree. Well, that means that you're privy to certain information that has been bestowed upon the Masonic uh, uh, lineage. And a lot of this Masonic shit has to do with magic. And as a matter of fact, our foundation of education system comes from the Masons. Remember, what happens when you graduate? You get a fucking degree, you idiot! You get a fucking degree! And notice, there are 12 grades, and, you know, you, uh, you know, get your Masonic, uh, Saturnalian, uh, uh, square hat on your fucking head that you wear a black robe for and all this other shit. So anyway, listen, I don't want to get into it, dude, because... You know, the more and more I get into this, it freaks everybody out. And, you know, people go into all kinds of different directions and shit. What is this? Coomed, man's first mistake was to think he was different from other animals. Well, let me tell you something. Mankind is. Mankind literally redefined its own destiny. And let me explain what I mean by that, okay? Aside from mankind becoming self-aware... There's a story, and this is a Masonic and a Luciferian story, mind you, that once mankind became self-aware, mankind started following light because everyone was afraid of the dark. That's why there's a lot of badness related to the dark. Whenever it got dark at night, the you know creepy nocturnal animals came out to feed, and it was a very scary time to be out at night. So one day, a lightning strike hits what was supposed to be a bush. And what one man, the first mankind who understood the idea of self-awareness and the uh, redefinition of one's destiny, what ends up happening is this burning bush starts burning. And this man takes a first step at the bush and starts realizing it's hot. He touches it, it's hot. He understands, and by, by pure observation, that as the burning bush keeps burning, uh, a lot of the burning bush's leaves turn into ashes and they fall apart. So what the man does is take some kind of a little uh, piece of, of wood, a little, a little piece of a stump, a, 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 a big fucking type of stick, and finds out how to use the fire, manipulate the fire, keep the fire going. And from that point on, mankind redefined its destiny at night. And what ended up happening is, is that the person, the first man 
to end up understanding how to manipulate fire began to draw human beings from all <laughs> over the area, power. all over the place. All right, what is this, coombed? The only accomplishment man has been destroying nature. It's not a great destiny. All right, whatever, all right? That, that's your problem. The point I'm trying to make is the first man that was able to manipulate the fire from the lightning strike on the burning bush was the first leader of all human beings. Because what ended up happening is everyone at night would follow the light. The light, especially amongst no type of civilization, a night, a burning uh, fire, a, a, a burning branch could be seen for miles and miles. And so hum humanity started converging on this light. And as a, re as a result, this is where you get the first civilization. And this is where the redefinition of mankind's destiny goes against nature. And ever since then, we have dominated nature. We have, we have conquered nature. I mean, we've domesticated animals. We've domesticated agriculture. You know, we, we've, we've done everything as a culture, as a group, as mass groups, etc. So the point I'm trying to make to you is, is that once you understand that the basis of mankind goes beyond nature, Look here. That's magic. Look, listen, I'm not the only one to have your salad recipe. Ah, so Jesus when you get the Christ. chance, hit me up on your website for your salad recipe. I've been here for a raw long time. We're down low, brothers. All right, Spirituality. Yeah, you, know, you know, whatever, Captain Hook, you fucking idiot. All right. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that's why mankind dominates the entire world. That's why there is no other living organism that goes above mankind because mankind has recreated his destiny. He recreated his destiny. Remember, nature had our destiny. It was supposed to be eaten. We we're supposed to be a part of food chains and shit like that. And then from self-awareness, from self-awareness to understanding, from understanding to gathering, from, under, from gathering to, to creating society, this is the literal, if you believe in evolution or not, this is the evolution of mankind. And that's why I'm telling you folks, everything is magic. I mean, we went from manipulating fire from a bush to now we create buildings that are up into the skies where the clouds are. All right. Coombed, a man has ruined nature. It's not an accomplishment. What are you talking about ruined nature? I mean, we've created a heaven out of hell. All right. I mean, look at how many of you view civilization. You think that all life is, is playing video games, being entertained, watching cartoons, and you motherfuckers think that that is reality. You think that that is life. That's not life. That's the magic that has been co induced and created to make you believe that's life. Okay? All right, I mean, you know, that's not life to other people. Take a look at other people in, in the international community. Life is a lot different to somebody who's in Africa than somebody here in this United States. Life is a lot different to those in South America than it is to these people in the United States. And that's why I'm telling you, your perspective on life is magic induced. Just take a look at all you people that love Hollywood movies. <laughs> you know that the term Hollywood, you know what it means, right? I mean, some of you know what it means. I mean, uh, wizards back in the Druidic times would use wands. You know, all these, all these magicians would like to use wands or staffs or things of that capacity. But Druidic wizards used hand wands that were made from the holly tree. The holly tree. So when you hear Hollywood, Hollywood magic, you've heard the term Hollywood magic. This isn't some fictitious bunch of bullshit here. These are people that are waving the magic wand over all your simple minds and are inducing you to believe what reality is. It's magic. I mean, you know that most chicks nowadays live their life based on their favorite romantic comedy, for Christ's sake? That's magic. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, come on, you don't think that's magic? I mean, you know, there's some people that base who they are as people based on 
how certain actors act, you know, how certain movies were made. Look at all the gangsters that love Tony Montana, huh, from Scarface. Look at that shit. I mean, this is not uncommon. I mean, this is Hollywood magic. And I know many of you think that you know so much and you're so smart, but most of you have already fallen victim to the magic and you're so feeble-minded that you will never be as enlightened as the folks who are in charge of this world. And that's why sometimes it almost seems like the elites are calling me. They're like, you know, ghost, you're doing all this for no reason, ghost. Look at the people. You're giving them direction. You're telling them how to be capitalist. You're showing them how to be productive members of society, ghost, but they don't care. They don't care, ghost. So why exactly are you sitting there trying to help these people? You should help yourself, ghost. You should join us, the elites, ghost. Don't worry, ghost. Let the fucking people have the vaccines and the cancer. Let them have that. Let's dominate the world, ghost. Let's change the world into an intellectual society that you want, ghost. What we all want. That's what all of us elites want. We want a society of people that are the best of the best. And I'm telling you right now, ghost, if you leave, if you stop telling these people what to do and trying to lead them the right way and just allow them to die, ghost, you can be one of us. You can be one of us, ghost. And I'm telling you, it's calling me. It's calling me. Anyway, Marshall Burnsy just donated two bucks. Uh, yeah, what did I miss? My filters. Fuck you. And two bucks, nice stories. Read the Bible. That's history. Okay, all right, well. Okay. There's so much esoteric <laughs> shit in the Bible, you fucking idiots. Don't even you know. You don't love me like you used to. E had something when I There's started so my many, artwork There's so much career, esoteric shit in the Bible. But you're just rubbing me off. Like shining a shekel. You don't just love me anymore. You're an abusive Jesus lover. Christ. You won't be seeing the children anymore. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to mean, Captain Hook, but you're a fucking idiot, all right? Anyway, uh, I mean, let me give you some esoteric examples from the Bible, okay? Adam and Eve, right? Well, first of all, did you know that there was more women than Eve in the, the garden? Did you know that there was a chick by the name of Lilith? Or, or excuse me, and, and, and Judith? And, and I mean, did y'all know this? Okay. Now, aside from that, Adam. What are they talking about when they talk about Adam? Adam is supposed to be the beginning of mankind, the Garden of Eden, right? Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, right? Well, don't you think that that is an anthropomorphized perception of what breaks down all matter? What breaks down all matter? When you break down all matter, this desk that I have, this microphone that I'm talking into, my fucking skin, my bones, when we break it down to it, what do we break it down into? We break it down into atoms. Atoms, the smallest component that creates every goddamn hard, actual tangible shit. Atoms. Atoms. And you know, according to many scientists, none of this really exists. <laughs> like this table, uh, the, the, well, this desk, uh, this 48-inch ultra-wide screen TV, this this uh, Corsair i160, etc. None of this is supposed to exist. According to science, nothing exists besides empty space in ourselves. Empty space in ourselves. So everything that we see here can be broken down into atoms. And that means that none of this really, really does exist. It only exists based upon our senses and interpretation, right? If we can feel it, we can smell it, we can see it, we can hear it, we can taste it, we can, you know, I mean, this is what it comes down to. So when you hear about Adam and Eve... I think that you need to understand the esoteric uh, understanding of what the hell that means. What the hell Adam and Eve means, all right? You won't be talking about my hook-shaped penis anymore. Oh, you, Christ. you used to talk about me school, remember? You tried to strong-arm me into being a silent lover. 
What the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about, you fucking sick idiot? And what it is, Coombed, everything that comes out of human thought is destructive. You only crave happiness because you were taught by older generations. Our demand to be happy is what's causing the destruction of this world. Well, let's just be a little bit more honest about it. What's really causing the destruction of this world is a bunch of things, okay? First of all, it's our, um, uh, you know, there's too many people. There's too many people that are uh, raping the natural resources currently in the, the world today. I mean, there is a lot of people that are, you know, just consuming the natural resources. And moreover, moreover, I think that in the process of us evolving as a human species, we allowed way too many people to be born into this planet. And because people are like everything else, you're going to have a few winners, but you're going to have a whole lot of losers. And now that we have 7.8 billion people, that, I mean, out of that 7.8 billion, there are a lot of fucking losers just commiserating all over the fucking place on this planet. And what's unfortunate is that those losers are now jeopardizing the civility for those of us that not only have enlightened ideas and common sense, but are just civil in society that don't want to partake in the activities of the jungle, etc. Okay? And what's unfortunate is that because we have so many people on this planet, something needs to be done to curb the amount of stupid fucking idiots that are on this goddamn planet. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What is a Zamboni driver? Since you're not doing media share, could you do me a shallot and shake your production notes? Well, here's your fucking, fucking, fucking right fucking here, all right? All right. And by the way, there is a lot of people on this planet, and many of the people that are losers that make no contribution to human enlightenment whatsoever, many of these people believe that they should be housed, they should be clothed, they should be fed, just because they're born! To Coombed, stop worshipping nature and sucking on Mother Earth's feud cock, you misanthrope. <laughs> we don't owe nature a goddamn thing. Nature is a mean, nasty bitch. Humans live that not because of nature, but despite its best efforts to murder us. That is true. I mean, you know, if we are to just oblige nature, to live is to die, right? I mean, that's really what nature is. I mean, that's really what the sad part about nature is. Whenever I go out in my land out here, I got a lot of woodland creatures. I've got Captain Hook! I'm merely trolling. Give the people radio graffiti and forum shout oh, out. Ah, Jesus Give Christ. power to the people. Give power to the people. What, what fucking people? These people? These assholes? Give me a fucking break. Anyway, look, I'm, 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 I shouldn't be telling you all this stuff anyway, because you folks, I mean, this is way above your pay grade. This is way above your mental capacity. And what's really unfortunate is that many of you fall under the category of useless eaters that are making no kind of contribution to human enlightenment whatsoever, all right? And that's why, you know, like the Georgia Guidestone says, maybe we need a population that never goes over 500 million people, you know? May maybe they're right. Maybe they're right. I don't know. Maybe they're right. Maybe I'm an idiot for being optimistic about mankind. Maybe I'm a moron by believing that mankind has the ability to absorb information and to become enlightened. I mean, that's what the Enlightenment thinkers thought. That's what our forefathers thought. And it seems as if that's not the case. Many times you can lead a horse to water, but the proverbial, you can't force it to drink. And that's a lot of the cases of many of the people that are listening to this broadcast. Many of these people don't give a shit. They'd rather fucking play a video game and be an obnoxious nothing and think that that's going to be life indefinitely. You know, the Europeans thought that one time. You understand? The Europeans once upon a time thought that, oh, yes, we are European socialists and all we do is we collect money from the government and we only work until we're 40 and we retire at 40 and, and we get all the money from the government and all we do is we go out and we drink and we do drugs and we fuck and we do that. That's what we do out here in the uh, European. We love it. 
We do this all the time. I don't know why your Americans all work so hard for. I don't get it. You know, over here in Europe, we we love it. We we are part of socialists. Uh, uh, we go out and we do drugs all day. All day we go drink and we fuck. We have wine. We give we give our fucking uh, children fucking wine. Is what we do. Yes. And what happened to that life, huh? That life created Europeans to be so docile that they allowed the wild Jehudis of the refugee crisis to come in and dominate their goddamn country. You know that? And that's what these fucking people are doing to you fucking idiots with the gaming and the anime and all this fucking Comic-Con and all this stupid fucking man-child can't differentiate fantasy from reality bullshit, okay? Because just as what's happening... Hey, 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 assholes, I know. Oh, yeah, it sounds good. Where do I sign? They did it until they couldn't afford it anymore. And when they couldn't afford it anymore, they started creating austerity measures that the fucking people didn't like. And once the people went against the austerity measures, that's when the European Union said, you know what? Let's bring in a whole bunch of Syrian refugees and see how these fucking Europeans like it then. And guess what? They brought in 3 million refugees that are raping, literally raping and pillaging Europe as we speak. And what are all these European socialists that were out here? They're like, oh yeah, we don't work. Uh, we retire at 40 and we fuck and we this and that. What, what are they doing? They're behind a lampshade, waxing their carrot while watching each and every one of their European women get raped. And watching their European women have children by their rapists. And have the authorities of the European Union not do shit. That's what got socialism. That, that's, what, that's what Europeans got with socialism. And that's the same thing that's going to happen here. Because once Trump is no longer president, there are a bunch of wild motherfuckers in South America... And let me tell you, you think the Jehudis are bad. These fucking guys in South America are brutal fucking killers. And they do it for the love of the fucking drugs and money. Okay? And I'm telling you, once we start unloading these... When we start allowing millions of these goddamn fucking wild, battle-hardened Latins into this country... They're going to do the same goddamn thing to all of you fucking soy boys in this goddamn country that they did to those goddamn socialist idiots in Europe. And I'm telling you right now, this would have happened a lot sooner had Donald Trump not been president. But I guarantee you, once these Latins start coming in here in mass, there ain't nothing that you little soy boy, little fucking game bitches are going to do about it. There's not one thing you're going to do about it. What are you going to do? Are you going to step up? These are brutal killers that like cutting people's hearts out. All right? I mean, these are old descendants of the El Salvador death squad and, and shit like that. Why don't you take a look at how a day in a life in South America is, all right? And then you bring them over here, these people that cut throats and, you know, cut balls off and, pe and put them in people's mouths and shit. Y you think that they're going to treat you soy boys with kid gloves? I don't think so, boy. I don't think so. Anyway, Coombed, what is this? We have caused the destruction of many forms of life on Earth so we can build skyscrapers and buy bullshit. Uh, there is no objective way of showing humans are better than other species. We only have been destroying... <laughs> this is very abstract bullshit, dude. Okay? I beg to differ. I beg to differ. I think that we've made heaven out of hell. I think that nature put us into hell. I think that humanity is a captive on this hell. And the only reason that we live in a different perspective of life is because we became self-aware and started manifesting things into reality. For instance, we started manifesting buildings. We started manifesting bridges. We started manufacture, um, uh, manifesting objects, etc. The fuck are you talking about, man? I mean, you know, we, we've been living... Had a, this is heaven out of hell here, okay? So give me a fucking break. I mean, would y'all want to be living in the jungle? Go back and live in the fucking jungle. Go out there right now. As a matter of fact, you could probably go back to some of these places that are rural, out in, you know, areas that, that are uninhabitable. 
some places in South America, Africa, go live out there off the land. See how fucking long you're going to live and survive. Huh? Go out there. Go go live amongst the land. Go live in the jungle and see what happens, huh? I'm serious. Go out there and live in the jungle and see what happens, you fucking idiot. You won't. You don't have the fucking balls, all right? Because you fucking idiots are more worried about fucking gaming and more worried about waxing your character cartoon women than actually fucking participate in your goddamn communities. It's fucking disgusting. All right, look, you, look at these people. The jungle has HIV. I mean, all right, I'm done with you fucking idiots, all right? Fuck all of you people. I'm done. I'm done. Stick a fucking fork in me. I'm done. And for all you people that are going to bitch and moan about forum shout outs and fucking radio graffiti, fuck you, okay? Fuck you up your fucking dirty assholes. Fuck you. You fucking people have made this show into a circus sideshow, okay? So fuck you, you, you fucking idiots. You, you, you fucking dumbass adult theater licking uh, adult object aficionado uh, fucking whacking off to tribal nudity shitheads, okay? Fuck you. Fuck you. I am out of here. You'll be lucky if I come back on Wednesday. And let me tell you, if I do come back on Wednesday, you better give me the fucking respect I goddamn well deserve. Do you understand that? All right? When I come back on fucking Wednesday, you better give me the goddamn fucking respect I deserve. Fuck you, Pettis, you fucking dickhead. All right, fuck you, Captain Hook, you fucking shitbag. Fuck you, Poindexter Rose, you fucking asshole. All right, fuck you, Beholder, you fucking stupid ass crack. All right, fuck all you, fuck you, Barry Blackberry, all right? All right, fuck you, Russell Sterling Dryer, you fucking shitbag. All right? Serious? Hey, fuck you, Grun Salpa. What kind of fucking fruity ass name is that? Fuck it. Fuck all of you. All right. Fuck you. I am out of here. I am out of here. I am fucking out. All right. And fuck you, Jackler. I don't give a shit. You, yeah. Look, you fucking donated that twenty-five bucks. I didn't say any. There's no. There's something on the fucking description that says, "Hey, pay 25 bucks. I'll go ahead and read fucking uh, radio graffiti. I'll go ahead and do fucking shout outs and all this bullshit." Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm out of here. All right. You all can go fucking suck it. All right. You all can go fucking suck it. You son of a bitch. All right. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Fuck all of you people. You'll be lucky if I come back on fucking Wednesday. Fuck all of you. I'm not a, you know what, dark me magician girl? Fuck you up your dirty fucking feminine penis, you fucking dumbass. All right? Fuck you. All right, Pookie from 713. All right? Fuck you, K-USA, whatever kind of fucking stupid name that is. All right? And fuck you, B3 Channel. What kind of a fruity ass name is that? Sounds like you fucking sh got shitted out of a blonde single mother with that shitty name. All right? And fuck you, Froppy, you fucking stupid goddamn autist that is so infatuated with a goddamn enemy that you can't fucking uh, separate yourself from it, you stupid dumb shithead. All right? Fuck you, incel king. Uh, the fucking name speaks for itself, you fucking incel. All right? And fuck you, Puka Dude 42 you fucking stupid fruit bowl. All right? And fuck you, Richard Fritzel, for Christ's sake. What kind of fucking name is that, huh? Stay away from my wallet, Fritzel. And fuck you, Admiral, all right? Call me Dusty, for Christ's sake, you son of a bitch, all right? And fuck you, Zappy. What kind of fucking name is that, Zappy, huh? Huh, you want something up the ass? That's what it sounds like, you fucking fruit bowl. Fuck you, Jason Genova, you fucking cross-eyed musclehead fruit bowl, all right? Jesus fucking Christ. I'm out of here. I, no, hey, Bonfire, you're telling me to chill out? How am I supposed to chill out? Listen to the show! Listen to the fucking show the trolls have done today! Do you think these... They don't deserve shit! These trolls don't deserve shit! They don't deserve nothing! And look at them! They think they deserve everything! Like, ah, oh, ah, oh, look at this! Look at what somebody did! Even though it says nothing in the description that I owe anybody anything other than what the fuck is described, you shithead, alright? So fuck all of you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you, alright? You'll be lucky if I come back on Wednesday for- or even Friday! Maybe I'll take the whole fucking week off! Who the fuck knows, alright? Fuck you! All right? 
But if I come back, I swear to fucking God, if I come back, you give me the fucking respect I deserve or else, or else, you fucking internet dickheads, or else, or else. Get me the fuck out of here, engineer. I'm not going to give these fucking people any of my fucking precious airtime. These people should be kissing my ass. These fucking people that are listening to me should be kissing my fucking ass. They should be kissing the ground I fucking walk on. All right? I am internet streaming, you fucking dickheads. I am internet streaming. Do you hear me, internet? I am internet streaming. I am internet streaming. You fucking... I am... Get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out of here! What the fuck out of here? Ah!